Bless you. Good evening, chat. a couple minutes and then start up with the uh, return to Treasure Town. To Treasure Town. You want to do that first or you want to do the uh, journal entry first? We'll do journal always uh, the next morning. Okay. I guess I'll have another paragraph to write. <laughs> I think we're about ready to jump in. Mm hmm With that, we will change to the session. Hi, Chris. has returned to a new treasure town. It is now nightfall and they have landed with a certain line that was on their airship. Well, we're back. Ah. Welcome to new treasure town, my fellow. Before you go too far, I recommend you come along. Very well. I haven't been here. Let's see. Jump down from the airship. Right this way. Hopefully, Hopefully. he hasn't gotten too far. He's probably still at the lake. It's a safe bet. Seems to be a serious spot. Oh. There he is. You coming? Yeah. Evening, Lincilla. She gives a uh, nod to them and watches as they walk by with the uh, nine tails. They will just give a calm nod back before continuing moving on. And as they approach, 
the uh, samurai is just sitting there staring into the uh, water, taking note of the uh, group before he glances to the nine tails from the corner of his eye before staring back into the uh, water. As he's sitting there, he just quietly says, Well, you took your time. Rafero silently approaches Farinor, not getting too close, and just slowly sits down. Tell me, do you know the state the world is in? Better than we left it. Sixty years ago. That's when Eternatus rose and destroyed Cassia. That's when Theris had died. Sixty years ago is when we never saw each other again. I know. I lost everything that day. Those closest to me. I isolated myself, believing it nothing left for me. Nor... A village now truer to his truer to his name than ever. It was a place the world couldn't touch, and so I lived there to die in quiet. But I never did die. Fernor I he shakes his head. I cursed you. The reason you never died is because I prevented it. I felt that when we lost Ursa. I can lose you too, so I know what you did. Renor just gets up with a low growl. And he walks over to the uh, unlit logs and just stares at them. But I don't think you know, do you? Renor just, or Pharaoh just takes a, a few slowly steps over staring at him that day when I woke in the clinic after the dust settled and you weren't there he just pulls out the uh, bottle with the wisp in it purple wisp and then opens it and sets it onto the logs and he just sits down and stares into the new fire, and Rafero looks over at it too. I kept this with me, always. It was the only thing that could keep me from falling where there was no way out. I hoped that if I were to put it up every day, the light would eventually lead you back to me. That you were still there, somewhere. Not a single day passed I didn't look at it. But as the years passed, I began to lose hope. At times, I was look into it and long to step inside and let it consume me so that I could die and see you. But I never could take that step. It was like something compelled me to never touch it, never feel what it was like to slip away and be free. I realized, but I could never accept it, and that made me more alone than ever. Rafero lifts a paw slowly, but he can't bring himself to come any closer. And Farinor just takes a uh, firm stare at him. Your curse was letting me live for 60 years without you here. He just slowly puts his paw down, looking towards the ground. He can't even look at the fire that he created. Again, after a few moments, what feels like an age of deathly silent, he finally lets out a shaky breath. I know what I did could never be forgiven. I cast the curse with the mind of never losing you, but as I sat and watched you sleep for days, I realized the mistake that I made. That growing guilt was like a barrier. It kept me from lifting the curse, 
I couldn't face you knowing that, so I never did. I realize now that only worsened what I did, and each day I long to see you again. Didn't deserve it, being there to settle with you, at least. That's how I felt. Five centuries give you a world of experience, but not an ounce of wisdom. How could five more do so if you're just fleeting words or not? You can live for a thousand years, but it's just a timer and you haven't even stepped up to see what's really there. Rafaro tries to speak, but he can't find the words to oppose what Fernor said. The Absol who took my memories back when I came here, she was here a few days ago. I spoke with her, but I told her I wasn't going to take my memories back. She took a life from me, and I saw a new one. Whether she had the power to return them, or whether there was anything worth returning, all I knew was this, and it was the only thing important to me. Team Plasma, after what they tried to do back then, I knew there was no going back. And each day, I continued to look into this fire, and eventually, it brought you back to me. Rafaro slowly lifts his head and looks up towards the samurai, his red eyes glinting in the purple flame. You owe me 60 years, and then we can talk about your curse. And if it turns out only your passing will lift it, then I'll make sure we spend those last centuries together. You owe me that much, Rafaro. He slowly steps over. Towards the uh, fire. He sets a paw into it and waves it around. And the flame slowly dances as though possessed by the nine tails. Then he brings his paw back out, the trickles of flame dancing between his digits before he looks over at Farinor. I'll do that and more, Farinor. I promise you, I won't leave again. And then holds out his paw slowly, and Fernor stares at it before bringing his own forward to set, it, to set on it. He doesn't even wince at the fact that the uh, flame slightly catches his foot. I'll hold you to that. And after that, uh, Rafaro just slowly brings his paw back down before sitting and looking into the flames. After a brief moment, he looks back over at the uh, team for giving a, a slow nod to them. Hmm. Leave, I would just take a moment to just nod to, to Refra before looking off and starting to make his way out. Do you feel like the two needed some time together? Preferably by themselves? It's late. We have more work in the morning. I heard that. <sighs> Not everyone. Wait, so I give them a slow nod and watches them. Try and get some rest, you guys. And Rockwell. I want them to play with the flames for a moment before giving them a small nod and stepping away. Referro nods back at him. Just continues to sit there by the flame with uh, Renor. I feel like I have questions, but I feel I should save them for later. Give them some time, okay? Yeah. I figured. Oh, nice. Sleep well.
Right then. I guess we did good today. It seems so. Are you doing me, Levi? I got a lot on my mind. Personally, I just wonder why he would isolate himself in such a lonely place in the first place. Probably the same reason Farinor did. Hmm. Oh, and Levi? Huh? Try not to sleep when you pause tonight. Make sure they can a little bit more. Uh, oh, right. That. Uh, I shouldn't laugh, but <laughs> he's got a point. Right. Yeah, I don't know why that happened. As the team returns back to their room, get always in the bed, Nightfall crosses, and then, before the next morning. So, 8,000, uh, Bryce? 8,000, you can go first. All right. Give me a moment to clear my throat. Journal time. All right, diary entry <clears throat> number 11. Things have felt a little different in the last couple of days. Been feeling a bit more excited, hopeful? No, not quite the right words. Not quite as afraid, maybe? Yeah, I guess it helps to at least have a... I guess it helps to, have, to at least have a friend. Uh, I got to hang out with Aluvi this morning and try practicing combo attacks with some great success. Turns out, if we can work together, we can project flamethrower at a distance. Uh, Aluvi also had another clever suggestion to try. That if my mind beam could strike his light beam attack, we could theor theoretically create a headache light show. That is, if we could make the beams collide. Turns out, synchronizing two lines into colliding is much easier said than done. Uh, maybe it would work easier if, with hypnosis instead of psi beam. Anyways, learning to drive the airship has been fun. Getting to soar so freely to the skies. Okay, not freely, I guess. Still gotta actually drive to where the missions are. But it's still nice to be the one at the wheel. I had the tempting thought to take the airship one of these days so I could just park it in the air and watch the world go by below. But even if I did that on a day off, at best I would get a very, very stern lecture. And the first mission today was just another routine test of those teleporters Ruin's been developing. Yeah, with my recent excitement, I decided, sure, I'll go. Thought it would be like the ones Ruven's family had. It was not. Uh, the emperors running the test wasn't kidding when they said to keep your eyes closed. How do I describe it? So imagine a 2D person looking at a circle on the page they live on, and a 3D being being comes in, picks them up, so the 2B D being can suddenly see inside the circle from impossible angles. That was me, and the circle was my own body. <sighs> then came the actual job portion. Some Pokemon had been coming out of the nearby woods with a bad case of memory loss, and we were tasked with tracking it down. Yeah, I did have a suspect for who it could be, but I didn't want to make wild guesses, and Thankfully, I didn't, because it turned out wrong anyways. The Ninetales, a uh, referral, who hold himself up in an old fortress. One of the old battle sites against the new masters. The place was dead, and by dead I mean not even weeds dare grew. And we were ambushed pretty hard, barely able to get away from some intense flames. And it seems that referral was beating and wiping the memories of anybody who stumbled this way. 
Yeah, remember that. I remember that ancient rescuer that Levi talked out of a battle way back when. Turns out this Nine Tails is the reason that guy's still around. Oh, yeah, uh, Levi. Levi's uh, is acting weird this morning. Super protective of his bandages. I've made sure not to pry, but I would be lying if I said that I wasn't at least a little concerned. End of diary entry number 11. Nice. Now, Bryce? Yep. <clears throat> Entry number 13. Oh, it's the middle of the night. I can't swear. I can't scream. I can't cry. I can't strangle something until whatever rage or anguish I'm feeling right now is gone. No. I just sit here and relax. Deep breath. After all, writing is another way to calm down. Calm down. Let's see. What happened? It's coming in gradually, little by little, more and more. I I'm, I tried something to cover it up. Bandages do good to hide it, but in my bid to stop something from drawing attention to myself, I ended up only drawing more attention to myself. Oh. <sighs> People saw it and they said it looked weird or it didn't fit. Alivy had a freaking field day about it, saying I, I want to become a fighting type. I don't. I, I don't. I just wanted something else to defend myself aside from electricity. A bit more diversity, and if it goes south, who knows? I'm going to need that TM. I'm going to need that TM that was in Amy's shop if I want to put someone in their place. Lentil always giving me a look, too, and I've seen it before. I need to watch myself around her. Okay. I'm feeling a bit better, but that's because I haven't gotten to what got me so upset. Despite my best efforts, I've been recognized, seen, known, identified for who I am. Thankfully, not entirely, but it doesn't bode well. It doesn't bode well. The mayor in... What the hell is it called? Seneca? One of the villages, she recognized me. Like, apparently, she was the person I stole something from. I didn't, but thanks to her, any doubt that my team had about it has been washed away. <laughs> Let's see that Evie, Evie accused me of being a thief now. At the same time, though, what's the point of the bandages if I'm still recognized aside from them? It could be made worse if I remove them, but no. Even even if I remove them now or remove them later, it's only a matter of time. I know it. I just acknowledge it. As for the mission, it was fine, still as peaceful as could be for the most part. I did hit a trap, and there was this grove out that eyed me about it, but it didn't have a chance to do anything to me. I'm kind of scared of just how powerful Apollo gets with enough time. Maybe I should look into something similar. No, 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 not that. Bad thought. That's for emergencies. Till then, it stays in the room. Oh, damn it, I'm getting off topic. We encountered the shadow. We encountered the shadow tower. It's been there. I've been there a few times before the entrance was shut and the place was closed down to hell and back. Even inside, the place has been ransacked by be it self righteous rescuers, remnants of the new masters. Or those that were wrongfully targeted by that damn Absol. All would make their claim. And many found that inside was just as bad as Abrolov or even the Hellfire. That place is not meant for normal people to walk in. Unless you want to dance with the afterlife. But who would we expect to defend the place than the Nine Tells who would rather be left al alone? Referro. Vanor has been spending many years looking for him, thinking he was dead. He's been searching for years, and we found him in a matter of days. He really did give up on, on finding this fox. No matter, though. The reunion between them was... interesting. Sixty years they were apart. Sixty years of silent pain, torment, anger, 
regret, a lingering pain that can only be quelled through conversation. Those two... Those two needed to talk. <laughs> Here I am more focused on my own pain and my own issues, only to step out and smell the flowers. Seeing that there were far more issues than sur that surround me than just my own. Was it harsh of me to say that Farinor gave up? No. No, it wasn't right for me to judge him so early. Apologies for that. Just thinking about the flame and the reunions getting me to calm down some. Maybe I can actually sleep. End of entry 13. All right. And then... The next morning. I'm slightly lightheaded from all that. <laughs> See, that your delivery was top notch. That was excellent. Thank you. So, as the party wakes up. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> I feel like a pancake. Again? By <laughs> the way, good morning. Good morning. Uh, how are you feeling today? I got my thoughts out. At least in writing. That's That's good practice to do. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna stop for a bit because. Uh, oh, oh dear. No. Oh no. Oh, oh boy! On here comes on call work. Oh, oh fun. Really? At the that that's that's very terrible timing. Holy cow! Welcome to IT. Welcome <laughs> IT. I suppose we'll wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. How long does this, those those usually take? <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably have to assume that he Hopefully just slept not in. Too long. Uh, it could take anywhere from five minutes of go check a thing to uh, everything's fucked. I would imagine he would let us know if everything's fucked. Yeah. Shall we have a little thing amongst ourselves then? Uh, sure. We'll give it a couple minutes. And if it isn't so back in June, then we'll just have people uh, head out to town and we'll bring him over when he comes yeah. back. Yeah. Just assume like he's gonna slept in a little bit, I guess. Hmm. Okay. I'm just tired and grumpy tonight. Hmm. You say you write out your thoughts, Levi. Is it that notepad of yours? And I swear Padrock does it as well. It helps. It's just a little thing that, you know, new area, new thoughts, new things, and you want to just kind of keep a record of it, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like saving your progress. Hmm. I try to keep all of mine in memory, but I guess that's unreliable. Yeah, you can be surprised about how fitful memory can be. Considering somebody can just give you amnesia on the moment's notice? Yes, I can imagine. That's two people I know that can just give people amnesia at a moment's notice. Is it that common? Was it what was the first? Apollo's mom. Oh, yes. That's right. Can that Nine Tails do it at a moment's notice? Can't, or does that I Nine Tails need a bit of setup for it? I imagine I, they have to prep themselves, but yes. Either way, I don't want to find out firsthand. Would the Nine Tails have fought us if that was the case? Yeah, I don't think he could just do it like that.
But that also explains why no one remembered him. But I'm left with, to wonder why you spend so much time to make people forget you when you also have to consider your longing for your friend. It seems incredibly counterintuitive. Yes. Well, he tried to... Let's say he was trying to get keep attention away from him. Well, that only worked in the opposite of what he intended. Not necessarily. Sixty years is a long time. I don't even think all the members of New Dawn were born sixty years ago. Yeah, but has he been at that specific tower for sixty years? I doubt it. Given what happened with the... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Ilavi. I honestly don't believe he would stick around that dead place for as long as he has. That and given it was very much so active 30-something years ago, pretty sure he recently moved in. Or at least moved in as of after everything happened with the whole Eternatus thing and, you know. Well, we had to have been there for a while. It would explain why he got the jump on us. He knew the he knew the territory. Yeah. We just so happened to figure out his game and counterattack him. My point is that the memory loss seemed to be a more recent thing from the way it was described. Otherwise, there'd be far more rampant cases of suddenly forgetting memories. That hasn't been a rampant case, right? Where people just say there are monsters in various locations and someone has to go investigate, but they find not. Huh. Yeah. I stand corrected. Pedrock will turn to Caster. You probably be more familiar with stuff on the rescue side of things. How often do go investigate monster sightings things tend to pop up? Well, it's more often nowadays, I suppose. Especially with all the distortions around. Back in the back in the days of New Dawn and before them, the Wayfinders, there were a lot more uh, pressing matters than chasing after every than chasing after every shadow uh, Pokemon felt they saw. But with Cassia finally starting to recover and well, the region getting back on its feet, so to speak. Uh, we're able, we as a rescue team are able to pick up on some of the smaller things. Well, not that all of these are small, but you know what I mean. Hey, attention to the things that are very small and make sure that they don't grow up to be something big. Yes. Something like that. What was the largest mission you undertook before everything happened? Is that to, out of character? Is that toward, towards me? Is that towards... That's, that, that's, that, that's toward okay. Caster, yeah. He's wondering. Given Caster was in a rescue team before we all joined it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well... Our, the first official mission that Apollo and I were on was the one to go after he, he kind of nods towards Levi. Oh. Beyond, beyond that I, I suppose the, clo the closest we came to other major missions would be exploring around here and around Cassius, the ruins of Cassius City proper. 
despite that would, is our, that why you know all the places that and well that and studying all of the records i can about the rescue teams who came before us you know what sure let's choose peace today hey caster good morning favorite type of book nonfiction fiction history drama it's between history and historical fiction Seeing I, what, I can agree with that. Seeing what happens if you change one major event and how the world can be completely different is entertaining, to say the least. I remember that someone wrote a... I, yes. I remember someone wrote a book on basically what, ha- what would happen if... They, they started analyzing the Wayfinders and how it was... Uh, how their teams came together. And it's just like, hey... What if you sh- switch out this person with someone else? Let's say, what if the uh, the Shinx, or was it Alexio? What if they stayed around? How would have things changed? It's just, they went nuts with that series. It was kind of cool, though. Hmm. I don't think I've heard about historical fiction before. It basically, think, we're going to take a real-life event, and we're going to shift it around. Like, let's say, I mean, oh, I, 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 I get also... the concept. Oh, it's just not not one I've touched on before. Oh yeah, I mean, one of the more common examples I can say, which is more current, would be, hey, what if Team New Dawn was defeated in Aberlov? And or they never got together. That was one of the more recent ones that came out, and it was a good read. But it made it. It didn't really make much sense at what was written, and more made sense that the author has a very dark sense of humor. Uh huh. Seems like would be a a rather short. Story, considering how Eternatus came back. Yeah, I've not had the pleasure. Well, some people do have quite the imagination. But as everyone says, reality is always stranger than fiction. Isn't that the truth? Also, good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And is Apollo still asleep? For now. I thought he followed in after. Oh, oh, I guess he is. And maybe he was. He he did start getting up, but I guess he needed a little bit more sleep. It's all right. Well, I think he I was only asleep with his front hand, front half over the bed. I suppose we should just give him some time, but. Why don't we head out to town? Sure. Okay. Make sure these are tight and there. Good. Still fidgeting with the bandages? Uh, Every now and then. It gets a bit loose if I don't. Are your paws cuffed up that bad? Like I said, it's less for injuries, more for just training. Are you sure you don't want me to help you tighten them later? I got it. When Silo just kind of gives a uh, glance at Levi narrowing her eyes before walking by. Hmm. Where's the sus? Where's the sus sound effect when you need it? 
It's just like, I'm on to you. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> dun, 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 no, it's dun. not as well as I hope. Yeah, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. There it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you play it on the website? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, until straight returns, don't up, don't approach the lake. Got it. Uh, metal coat was special defense, right? It uh, increases power of steel moves. Oh, steel moves! Oh no, hyper beam is back. Yes, oh. brick brick's still there. <laughs> Garf is super expensive. What's super expensive? Uh, pass scarf. Oh. The one we had demonstrated on us. Yeah. No, no, it's still very expensive. Why am I, not I mean, imagine what it does. Weird. Hey, it was a random roll. <laughs> you can't get more random than the fact that Raffaro had one and literally the very next day, hi, we got pass scarf. <laughs> And it almost seems like he just turned it in and be like, here, sell this. <laughs> and me takes a uh, glance over at the team up here, showing up. Alright, cool. Good. Good, morning. Good. Good to know. Hello there. Seems you guys took a while to come out. We had a. We were just talking for a bit. By the way, how are you doing? I'm well. They've been going about as you expect. She uh, looks over at Caster and she's like, "And how are you this morning?" <sighs> Doing as well as I can, I suppose. Now it's Apollo's turn to sleep in. Hmm. <laughs> oh, everyone dies sometimes. I wonder when it's going to be my turn. And she just takes a uh, glass and fills it with water, puts it next to a uh, caster. Evie can hold cylindrical objects. <laughs> Sippy. <laughs> Levi, the next, the time that you get to sleep in is when you probably end up learning sleep talk. No, talk about my sleep? Right. Oh! You had me worried for a second there. You're about to tell me I talk in my sleep. What the hell do you even see in my sleep? Then again, I probably shouldn't worry about it. Oh no, I just thought it was funny. Hey. Well, consider me humored. And mildly concerned. I'm not saying that you sleep talk. I'm saying that, well, the journal does the talking for you. This is true. So, how did your morning start out, dear? To a caster? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I zoned out for a moment. How did, how did your morning start out, dear? Besides waiting for Paul, uh, the team and I were able to chit-chat a little bit more. Levi and I aren't at each other's throats for once. Well, that seems pleasant. I think we're all just a bit tired, a bit exhausted after... After last night, I suspect. I heard about what happened. Yeah, it f almost felt like we were sp spying or interrupting something we shouldn't have. Mm. Uh, it seems those two are 
doing at least well enough down there. So far, yeah. Though it's strange and almost unsettling how many people from Glacy's world timeline how many of her associates we're running into? I don't think those two are related to her. If anything, the most I've heard is that she was involved in the fight with Eternatus the first time he rose. And, well, them being involved in it, obviously they would run into each other. I suppose that makes sense. Lane just takes a glance over at Levi as he comes around. Levi just looks over to Dan and just like, I may need to talk to you later. Just letting you know. Hmm. Very well. Otherwise. Uh, that Absol's gonna sleep in. How, how late is he gonna sleep in? No, oh, well. As late as he dreams about IT. Yep. <laughs> Do Porygon's dream of Electric Mary? <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't keep him too long. Okay, so we're gonna have to move things to the mission pretty soon. Um, I don't care, just for purchase purposes, how much do we get from the last mission? Uh, you're gonna get about 500. Okay. Yeah. I will draw my plans now on what I want to buy, and you do. Yeah. Check purchasing power. Let's just check this, check inventory. Just yeah. Across the table. <laughs> of course. He wanted to be with the brakes in. <laughs> tippy tap, tippy tap. He's enjoying the pit. He said, I sprayed him all, but he's enjoying his tea. <laughs> it's like I'm having my morning tea. Actually, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Um, excuse me, Emmy. Yes. Can I get some tea too? Oh sure. It's goes over it's and takes one of the. Uh, I forget what they're called. Urns. I guess. The things. Teapot. Teapots. Teapot, yes. <clears throat> he takes it and goes over to fill it up. Or come back. There you go. And then she pulls over a big uh, next to it. If I would just quietly take the cup and head, take it back over to the table. She offered you a whole teapot, and you only <laughs> took one cup. Mind, I mean, I just... have a pot, mind if I get a cup too? She makes a nod and... Uh... Come on, grab objects. Which one you grab him too? Pick up the thing. Yes, sit at the team. Sit <laughs> at it. Shush. 
This is a really nice Eclipse tea. <laughs> it's just hot leaf water. <laughs> Offended <laughs> Uncle Iroh noises. <laughs> hot leaf on water. Imagine tea so black that it's basically eclipsed. It's like, that's really dark tea. No, that's just, that. that's not too out of the ordinary. Wait, really? I mean, if you know what you're making, if you, if you mix the right leaves together, then yeah, no, it's very simple to do. Speaking of it's leaves... Called, it's called coffee. You've not had black tea before? No, not really. But go, go ahead. Go ahead, uh, uh Alavi. Speaking of leaves, where's... Oh, right, Zane's over here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hmm. Oh, right, Ocean. Uh, Zane, do you have a moment? Yes. Well, we found some herbs while we were out. Can you identify these at all? He just holds out chamomile and black nightshade, which he has no idea what is. Hmm. He takes them and starts looking them over for a moment. Hmm. Then he uh, places one on the uh, table and says, So this one is chamomile. It doesn't have any special properties, but it will hold a potion for three days. And then he looks at the other one and examines it closely, as if he's trying to find something on it. And then shakes his head and then he puts it on the uh, table and he's like, This one is black that shade. It will hold a potion for five days, and it will also increase your stamina. Out of character, it gives ten extra hit points. Isn't it Ooh. also poisonous? Am I misremembering? That is Deadly Nightshade. Is that what you were looking for? Indeed. So, one of these uh, will make it to where the potion will not just last one day, but several. Indeed. Could I have, um, Aluvi, could I have one of those leaves? I have four of them, yes. The Black Nightshade one? Yes, there's four. I can just hand you one myself. Oh, can I Can I also ask about the sage, real quick? That's right, you do have that too. Yeah. Zane looks over at Caster and takes the uh, plant and looks it over. So, the sage will hold a potion for four days, and it also slightly increases the, uh, power of your moves. And out of character, that's plus five on all damage rolls. Question. Because, it, because it's the next day, that means these only have two days left on them, don't they? Yep. But yeah, um... Uh, Go ahead. The, the, the Black Nightshade, I just put the description as two days, and I just handed you one, and so I got the only three now. Mm-hmm. Follow-up question, uh... Go on. Can you mix leaves? You cannot, unfortunately. Okay. I imagine if you'd mix leaves, it would cause a lot of side effects that were not intended. I mean, you can mix leaves just fine if you're making tea, but... I suppose in this case, probably not the best idea. In the case of magical potions, they do have some conflict with each other. Understood. Don't do that. Got it. <laughs> Let's say we make a potion with the Black Nightshade. It would both last five days and also increase one's own stamina once drank on top of the benefit it already gives. Or am I misunderstanding that? The Black Nightshade will last five days, and it gives you extra stamina, aka five or ten temporary hit points. Oh, so this should only have four days left on the descrip description, not no. three. Right? The the plant stays fresh for three days. It holds a potion for a certain amount of days, depending on. Gotcha. So when you make it into a potion, it lasts for that amount. Got it. Yep. Alright. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, these should last at least a couple more days after being picked, yes? Indeed. Zane. <clears throat> yes? Where would you go to say practice alchemy? Hmm. Well, that's a bit difficult to answer. You can technically practice alchemy anywhere. It just depends on if you have the equipment and the means to do so. Right. Hey, to be honest, I feel like I could probably learn it, considering I've been introduced to natural medicines already, but I imagine it's different. In the alchemy I am looking to do, yes, it is different. However, alchemy from a medicinal sense does have its place. Alchemy from a technological sense, well, I'm not exactly too interested in healing people in this case. Like, you just mentioned the word technological, and his face just turns to a grimace almost immediately. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. No, it's not that, it's just uh, technology, me and, me and that, we, we don't get along. I've noticed. <laughs> At any rate, I still need to find some tools to actually practice it. Be it a mortar and pestle, or just a straight up wheel, or... Hmm. Maybe a few test tubes here and there if I can get lucky. Well, here's a consideration. Zane, would we be able, to be able to mix that Black Nightshade now? At least two potions? In order to uh, preserve the Nightshade, you either have to make a, put a stasis on it or <laughs> make a potion immediately. Which also, high straight. Which and is back for asking. the next half hour. Uh, then oh, I'm gonna boy. go check on um, what Data Dog has to say. Oh dear. Well, let's get what we can do now. If you would like to make a potion, I can do that now and put a spell on it. And it will cost, uh, let me get you sheet. For Black Knight Shade, which is just a health bonus increase, I imagine it's like somewhere in the 200s range, I believe? No, uh, the potions will cost 100 to make. Oh, so these ones are just the basic ones? All potions cost 100. You would have to pay uh, more for the certain spell that you need. So for the base potion, making it scratch, it would cost 100, and then the cost of the spell. Mm -hmm. Hey, Alavi. Mm -hmm. Can I get the, uh, one of those chamomile leaves? I know it's nothing special, but... Oh, well, sure. There's Thank only you. two, but... Yeah, I should have... that. You should also have a, a spare. Okay. Just pull yeah, the, was uh, gonna... Caramel, he just kind of takes the caramel leaf that was on the table and just hands it to you. Yeah, in this case, I'm actually going to use this now. Mm -hmm. But thank you. Zane makes a uh, glance and a nod over to Apollo before looking back at Levi. <clears throat> um... Levi, I mean, I was going to hand... Zane the chamomile leaf as well as something else a stun seed hmm. oh, I see you're so you intend on making a stun bomb no yes <laughs> <laughs> morning sleepyhead I think Apollo might be idle again he takes the uh, meal and the stun seed and what spell would you like to put on that? Boost. Boost. Very well. And he reaches into his bag that's put next to a table and pours out a uh, small bottle. Better help, Celine. And Celine gives a uh, nod and hits the bottle for the two start mixing ingredients together and. A bit of uh, water and 
Lane puts the uh, chamomile in, and then uh, the <laughs> he crushes the uh, stun seed before dropping it in as well, and then his uh, claws get a uh, red glow to them before he taps the uh, bottle. <clears throat> Afterwards, he uh, lets it sit for about a minute before taking a cap and putting it on. And then he hands it over to Leeway. All right, thank you. And, he, and that will be 300 for the potion. He would hand over to 300 appropriately. Thanks so very Black much. Nightshade, you said Black Nightshade was plus 15 to health? Plus uh, 10. Got it. I just put it in the description, identified with the, you know, that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why would you want a potion that's a boost, but it also stun? I'm confused. It boosts the whatever uh, seed or berry oh. you put in. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. So, stem seed becomes stronger stem seed. Lencilla then comes around and places 500 in front of uh, Halloween. Then gives 500 to Apollo. Sticks around. Sets 500 for uh, Hadrock. And then Levi. And puts 500 on the table for a uh, caster. And almost Ill immediately, Levi heads over to a uh, image. Well, you seem interested in something. The brick break. Brick break. Oh, well, that'll be 1500. You set it down and slide it over. He wishes yeah. to chop the blocks. She takes it and then reaches under the uh, counter, pulling out a disc and then setting it there. Thank you very much, Levi. Okay, actually, can I learn this now? That is the question. Uh... All those gone. I don't exactly use Tailwood too often. Do you have the description for Rick Rick? I don't yet. I can get it though. Um, Emmy, can I go ahead and learn this now? Sure. And she pours out the uh, machine and puts the disc in for looking at him. Wait, are you ready? Go for it. Okay. And she sets the cords on his head and then turns on the machine. And which move are you uh, clearing for that? Tail whip. Right. And Levi forgets tail whip and learns brick break. And the jingle? Trying to find that, actually. <laughs> Stay in the line, Bart. There it is. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> when you have so many sounds, it's hard to go through them. No worries. Uh, I'm actually I'll figure out. Oh no! I just had a terrible idea just now. What would that be? What if a Luby chucked a block, uh, a rock throw towards him to see if he chops it? <laughs> If you like, think fast. Also, uh, Chris redeemed hydrate. Oh, sure. If you can. Out of character, I have the mental image of a Luvi doing that, but making the rock just float slowly towards Levi. Just <laughs> like, oh. God dang it. Now I'm thinking of freaking Rhythm Heaven again. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm thinking of Rhythm Heaven. <laughs> Oh, well. So, Levi, would you like to test that new move now? Not here. Are you sure you don't want to chop blocks? 
why would I want to? It's a joke. Oh. <sighs> Though, I will admit, this already feels pretty strong. Although, in honesty, I'd rather, if I can pick up Iron Tail, I will, but that'll be another day, another time. Lin still uh, steps out from the uh, table and looks at Levi. Excuse me, Levi. Do you mind? Um, sure. What's up? I need to ask you about something. Okay. Those bandages you're wearing. Do you mind removing them? Oh. Master doing a big sip. <laughs> right. That. You know what? Given what happened yesterday... Sure. Though, I'll say this now, it's not necrosis. Hmm. She sits there and watches him expectantly. He would step back from him before going back to, the, back to one of Vimy's stools and sitting down, and at that point he would remove the fastenings of his, on the ones on his wrists, and then proceed to slowly, but soon enough, quickly remove the bandages from his wrists. And under those bandages, what was once a normal yellow paw shows to be a lot darker. Black, in this case. Along his wrist, there is a green streak that's going through from the start towards his hand. Even then, on the other hand, on the other hand, it's the same thing. He also has he also has similar on his feet, to which he removes shortly after. Uh, uh, that's different. Are you yeah. sure you're not dying? Pretty sure I'm not dying. What is that weird pattern? And y'all said the bandages were weird. Oh no, I was making I was just making fun, but this one's genuinely different. I don't think anybody expected you to turn green. You're focused on the green, not the black? <laughs> the green stands out more. This is fair. I mean the green is on the black, so when you echo the black, you immediately see the green pop out. True. She, she eyes up the patterns and then looks at his eyes. Where did you get those? These were birthmarks. For lack of better words. Really now? But I when I was born, this was something that was given to me. Not exactly a natural birthmark, but induced. I barely remember it, but it was something I drank when I was a lot younger. Mm. It was given from the leader of the leader of my caravan to my dad, and my dad gave it to me. I didn't question it. The marks came in. My hand, my hands ended up turning like this, and I was fine with it. It looked. Y'all say it looks weird. I think it looks cool. But it's kind of like a tribal pattern. I, I kind of like it, though. Everyone, well, not everyone had it, but there was a number of people in my uh, group that did have it. Or something similar. Different patterns fit different people, and, well, this was mine. I see. And 
Well, given it was unique in its own way, I, I mean, not everyone had like black hands like I did. I just figured I was special like that. So I've I liked seen, it. I've never seen such patterns. Very intricate and odd. So, like, I it. In truth, it's what got me interested in alchemy. Because that's where this started. I got curious. I went and I went to want to learn. I talked with the leader. I talked with my parents, and eventually, I learned a bit more about how this was start how this was created, and also learned more general alchemy, being potions to help someone get stronger or something to help you feel lighter. A couple of medicinal potions here and there, like maybe the, the, some of the ones in Anarch Shop, I'm pretty sure I know how to make. For example, the, the one that heals basic wounds or heals more than usual, just a greater abundance of the same supplies. Though mine was... Funny enough, Aluvia, a lot of the stuff I used in Alchemy were natural rather than synthesized. See, Levi, what you're supposed to do is make it subtle. Just points to his own jaden crystal that's inside of his ear fluff. Most people won't notice that. She I'm... makes she makes a small nod and she's like, "Well, as long as it's not something bad, then I suppose I'll accept this for the time being." It's like, see, the thing is. I just had a quick question out of period before it reacted in character. Don't shoot. Is there any chance of recognizing something like this, or is this like just something that's unique to his? The pattern itself is you pretty unique. But right. as he said before, in his caravan, in his group of nomads, these were not. They had marks. Just not like his. Some were more brazen, some were more subtle, and well, that's just these, these were his. Authority and his family all over again. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's a really cool pattern. To to explain though, when I wanted to leave that life behind, I wanted to leave a lot of everything behind, be it leave the people, leave the things I did, leave the, leave the things I gained, and well, I wanted, I wanted to leave this behind. The marks. That's why when you met me, my hands were normal. I made a medication through alchemy that well, I gained this through alchemy, I could take it away through alchemy. At least I thought that was the case, and when I made, when I made it, it was able to help me out get rid of these marks. My hands looked normal. For a time, I ran out of medicine. <laughs> Levi, you act as if you needed to hide those from me in the first place. I mean, look at me. Welcome to the club. He just pats him on the shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I realized that the medicine was a little more than a suppressant and, well, now that I'm out of it, this is how my hands actually look. Then Silla just makes a uh, light smirk before stepping around and sitting back at the table. So Very was well. the brick, so was learning brick break genuine? Yes, learning a brick break brick break was genuine. I got I got tired of only having uh, skills that were based on my electricity. I wanted to do or have more capabilities. Why do you think I learned flash cannon? Same reason. Exactly. Yet here you are making here you are making fun of me, calling me a fighting type. Well, the reason why is because you were trying to hide it. So you wanted to leave alchemy behind, and in order to do so, you did more alchemy. Stellar logic. <laughs> well, what do you suppose I I do? 
it I'm may... still just trying to wrap my head around it, honestly. Well, for, num- for starters, you could have just been honest, considering past oh. uh, experiences. <sighs> yeah. Probably. But yeah. Quasi you look so That's that's why my hands are covered. Quasi always was... looks over at a Fester and sticks her tongue out at him. It's kind of why I decided to keep him hidden. Just didn't want to keep it exposed and then I got recognized and well at that point I just figured screw it. Did they glow in the dark? <laughs> I will leave that for you to find out. (laughs) If you glow in the dark like a nightlight, I will smother you in another blanket so I can go to sleep. (laughs) This is a threat. Uh, Oh, Caster, if only you knew what happens when when it's nighttime when the gems are starting to glow. Caster, if you need help sleeping, I can help you with that. Thankfully, it's small enough that you don't notice it. No, I'm fine. (laughs) <laughs> I think people are dying today Maybe I should have kept these around I'm sorry about the whole Bandages thing Just Embarrassed Well, I'm just happy to See that It's not a health thing even if it looks like one. Emmy lifts her prosthetic for a leg up and taps it on the uh, counter and she's like, if I had to hide something like this, I'd go nuts. Touche! I mean, I had a feeling that, that this was only a matter of time, so unless it was either I may find a means to make more medication or this. Well, By the way, Levi, I was 100% serious about the rock. Huh? He just oh. gives you, like, this really silly grin. <laughs> it's like, Levi, like, sure don't get concerned, like, they were about to do it now. I was like, oh, wait, you mean later. Got it. Anyway, um, let's, uh, move on, preferably. Ah, yes. Move I'm... on from the strange markings uh, club. Got it. I was needed. Uh, Glacialis just kind of shakes her head at the banter between the team and looks over at Sir Eddie. And as she's looking back over at her, she blinks once before staring over at the uh, lake. Hmm? What are you looking at? What? Uh, what? Who's? What is she doing here? Who's Who? that? Almost pitch black. Serenity just slowly approaches, and Glacialis tilts her head before walking up behind her and looking at the new Pokemon sitting at the lake, and she freezes in place for a moment before. Looking over at Serenity, and she's like, Is that who I think it is? A Benz, who is it? Serenity just slowly nods and steps forward. Yeah, it's definitely her. It's hard to mistake that look. And you are worried about your own paws, Levi. Everybody has their own baggage. Is this person safe? Well, not entirely safe, but I wouldn't call her dangerous, at least not to us. I don't like what that means. As she approaches the Black Nine Tails, 
they sort of just sit there before their uh, ears twitch, and then she turns around, looks over at uh, Serenity. Like, well, it's been a while. How did you even get here? Well, she just sort of motions over at the uh, Lugia down there. You know, Serenity, we can't be worlds apart. It's not going to work that way. Serenity just shakes her head with a sigh. Sorry. I didn't remember. Music. Damn it. Uh, there. I didn't remember about this. We are connected, I suppose. Yes, and so when you left, I went to Lucentia to follow you. Although, you were quite hard to find. Serena just takes a step back and looks to the ground. She then looks over at the uh, team and she's like, You can come over, it's safe. Maybe say so, but uh. Just, Leva just gets off the ground and just walks over. This, well, we call her Shadow. Or. A specific reason. Back in our world, I was infused with an energy that took away my emotions, and it was very difficult to regain what I was, but if not for Glacialis, I probably would have been stuck that way. When that energy was released, well, based on what I was told, there was enough to kill a Tauros inside me. When it was released, it manifested into its own form, sort of like mine. But at the same time, since it was unable to return to me, it started to gain a bit of sentience somehow. Splinter? From what I remember, it was actually laced with a different kind of energy that allowed it to gain its own thought. And over time, it gave up trying to bind with me and decided to try and just be like me. And in doing so, it also adopted a lot of my traits and well, she is like this now. So, is there some kind of problem when caused when you two are too far apart? If we get too far apart, she starts to degrade. And I didn't remember this when I came to this timeline, so I'm sorry, Shadow, for hurting you. She sort of shakes her head and sits there, uh, looking at the team. And who are you? Well, um, we're Team Horizon. <laughs> Horizon. Horizon. Sorry, sorry, you said the Team uh, Eclipse. Sorry, out of uh, my and, name, my. Everybody bonked Patrick. <laughs> hey, that Excuse looks a little bit out of character. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was going to mention, like, uh, we'll see. Eclipse, huh? Like the way it's... Shadow Eclipse is white? Well, it's kind of funny 
I was going to point, bring up the joke about it, but it's already been said. I suppose you can put it that way. Very well, then. And she just kind of turns back towards the uh, lake. Like, well, I suppose it's a pleasure to meet you all, then. Um, <clears throat> likewise, but huh? So she's a splinter of serenity, then. And also, since the black design doesn't really show well on the white background, I'll just show it by itself. Oh yeah, we can see it better now. Yeah. <laughs> I see. <laughs> fucking Ripley too. <laughs> yeah. So, sitting there, her uh, shadowy tail is slowly sway, and she's like, "Well, I do have some news to report from this meeting." How many news? Meeting? Like what? I assume you all have heard of a place called Cassia Town. Yes. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Of course. Well, while I was wandering in this world, I came across the ruins surrounding that place and ran into some interesting people. Define interesting. They seemed rather shady. Of course, I know that's silly coming from someone like me. However, it appeared they were looking for something. Any ideas as to what? After all, the ruins of Cassia have several things hidden among them. That is actually what we plan on talking to you about today. Yeah. Glencilla walks over towards the uh, lake and sits near the Shadow Knight house. And... Right. So, we've gotten some reports of some bandits running around the ruins outside of Cassia Town. Uh... It's already advised not to go there simply because it's not safe to be there. But when people have approached the area, uh, the Spandis were actually starting to attack them. Shadow bandits? No. Not necessarily. No, just bandits. Oh. Sorry. That, that so, You're fine. Shadow came here, obviously, to meet with Serenity, but she also had the report of these bandits, and we would like you to go and investigate them. What they're looking for, and if possible, to drive them out. All right. Uh, Why not just... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I assume we should expect trouble then. Most likely, they're going to be hostile, yes. Shadow. Right. Yes? You gotta look at them, right? Mm. They look Do like fairly know? normal Pokemon to me. No particular standouts? Nothing unusual that I saw. No particular type concentrations or no. a leader that seemed to be there. I didn't get a good look at them. And honestly, when one of them noticed me and tried to lunge at me, I had to get myself out of there. Understandable. Though, Better I'm surprised say. that they tried to lunge at you, of all people. <laughs> of all mods, I mean. Well, 
I suppose if they're hostile and if they're there for nefarious reasons, they wouldn't want anyone else getting in their way. No matter what they may be. Of course. If, if you will, Shadow will be going with you on this mission. Bit of a bombshell there to drop on us there. You mind elaborating? She's the one who saw them and got the best look at them, and she's the one who survived to come back and tell of it. So she may be one of the best uh, people to help you. If I may ask, given the locals in the area, why not just ask Team New Dawn? I mean, I'd imagine Artemis wouldn't mind helping to keep his territory safe. They are unfortunately busy with their own things. Of they course. have missions to go on to as well. Right. Well, in that case, I guess... I guess we know what we're doing today. It's not it's... that I don't... Tr it's not that I don't trust... Uh, Shadow here. It's just a little sudden. <laughs> well... I suppose it's a good way to get to know her, but I still insist that you try and be careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So slam that sneeze. So. Maybe slam that like button and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I so, have to drink in my mouth. You're going to take a spit take. Since the uh, teleport pad has been stabilized to uh, Cassia Town, I suggest you take that instead of the airship. It'll get you there faster. Sure. Okay. Well, Aluvi, looks like you're taking the teleporter after all. Uh, just keep your eyes closed. I don't need you telling me that. Meanwhile, I need to place some tokens on our map. Mm -hmm. Where the teleporter is... North. Just a bit past Eaton Shop. Oh, yeah. can roll his leg in for me. Hi. <sighs> Oh. Hello. It's like, hi, Eaton, we're borrowing the teleporter. Okay, thanks, bye. <laughs> Come back here. At least that's what I feel like we're just doing. We're just going past AE10 and just saying that as we go by. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Uh. Oh yeah, you do need to eat and Hey, Eden. Yes? We're going to be taking the teleporter to Cassia. Would you happen to be able to power it, or should I go find Raven? Oh, I can do that. Awesome. We'll be at the teleporter waiting. Okay. Right. He heads up with them, and... Oh, right. We didn't test that, did we? Imagine e so was like, nice markings, by the way. Mm. He kind of got a glimpse of what was going on. We... Hmm. Are we going to go up there one at a time, or are we going to do it at once? You can actually all go on at once. On something as small as this. I, are you sure about that? You'll fit. Tadrock hops up on a pole's back. <laughs> yes, uh, I am brimming with confidence at this point. <laughs> I mean, if you really are that worried, we can just you can just ask Shadow to hold on to you. So. Just, no, he just goes silent at that point. <laughs> <laughs> 
the team bunches up on the uh, teleport pad. It's actually a little bigger than it looks. Make sure all, all legs and arms are inside the teleport pad upon activation. <laughs> and tails. <laughs> uh, Shadow just kind of makes a little smirk at that. Dean starts uh, tapping things on the computer, and after a moment, the teleport pad starts lighting up. And Failure to keep all hands, <laughs> b- ar- all hands, legs, and limbs inside the teleporter may result in death. Serious <laughs> injury, and in extreme cases, disembowelment. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Aiden looks back at them with the little shake of his head, and he's like, ha ha. So are you ready? I'm not sure I feel about that, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Aluvi has taken the per- posture of uh, defense curl. <laughs> <laughs> you can call hey. it the fetal position. <laughs> so he turns back to the computer. Leon, you there? You hear the familiar voice uh, calling back, and he's like, "Hey, I'm here. Is that you, Eaton?" He's like, "That's me. I'm going to be sending six people over." Oh, jeez, that's a lot. Uh, sure. Let me just get a few things set up and. You hear a few tapping on the uh, on a keyboard over there, and it's like, "All right, we're ready to go. Whenever you're ready." And he looks back at them and gives a nod. It's like, "On your cue." Punch it. All right, and he taps the key on the keyboard, and everyone soon goes poof. Apollo just absorbs everyone who was floof. Because he go <laughs> poof. X- yeah, you're not going to be absorbing the nine tails. Yeah, nah. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. Pause, check. Still black as hell. Feet, fine. Tail, fine. Yeah, tail's fine. Alright, I'm good. Leon looks hey. over at them with a smile. He's like, oh, well, welcome back. Hey, Leon. Um, don't, don't mind the pause. Uh, still loading on my end. My app is refreshed, then. Yeah. And I look now. Yes, you can look you can now, look Alibi. Now. Peeks out from one of his ears. There we go. Oh, thank goodness I don't have nausea. Yeah, if it or takes more than like 10 seconds to load, then just refresh it. Okay. So, welcome back to Cassia Town. Thanks, Leon. Home. <laughs> I hope that trip wasn't too odd for you. I don't have vertigo, so I should be fine. <laughs> All right. Well, Shadow just kind of makes a little smirk. I'm gonna make one stop uh, in here, and then uh, I'll be good to head out. Go for it. I'll be waiting for you at the uh, south end. Okay. I believe I will give a small wave to the guard of war before continuing on. He looks over at him and gives a smile. And nod. And meanwhile, over at the northwestern part of the town. I knew it, god damn it. <laughs> you you time, shouldn't be surprised. Time for some role play. I need to figure out where to leave Caster in a sec. <laughs> I'm dragging and dropping as fast as I can. <laughs> You're fine. Hey, Padrock. Hmm? little concern I had with the shadow. Uh, are they going to be alright being this far away from Serenity? Well, I think so. I guess we're just in different worlds. I'm sure, that would be even more concerned than us. Well, it, 
just... Wrong Apollo there. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> just seemed a little concerning, considering the fact that uh, Serenity did mention... I was about to say, yeah, like... Why is it 2d6? Oh. No. I don't think the uh, character sheet's been adjusted. Probably not. I would adjust and re-roll. Just, uh... <laughs> it's whatever. Alright. So Apollo, uh, slinks back into the house, and, uh, instead of going after his father, he goes after Moria. Pounces on her from behind. Surprise! Just me, or did the music get louder? Hmm? Maybe a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. I didn't turn it up, but I'll turn it down. I can adjust it locally on my end. Yeah. That's the good thing about the screen share. You can all do it yourself. So Apollo's just pounced on Moria. Yeah. Moria kind of te tenses up and turns back, uh, and Artie sort of pulls himself up off the bed. <laughs> Surprise! Hello, what are... What in the world are you doing here? Oh, we're stopping through the area, so I figured I'd come and say hello to you two. Let me let me guess. You're coming through on a mission, I'm sure. Yes, I just said that. So how are you doing, Dad? <clears throat> well, New Dawn, well the other members of New Dawn, uh, have been going out and, and trying to investigate the source of these distortions and, well, fix up their own little corners of Cassia. That's I was actually fair. going, I was actually just about to get ready to head out, uh, head out and start on some work myself. Well, Team Eclipse is working in the uh, nearby area. Maybe we'll cross paths. Team Eclipse. I'm trying to think. Out of character would already know that's what their team name is now. <laughs> yes, he was there for that. Right, okay. Yeah, that was at the party and everyone was there. Right, I couldn't remember if that was accurate or not. Apollo, why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Out of character, I disassociated. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo, why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Did I just do that? <laughs> you kind of referred to yourself as Team Eclipse. Well, that's the name of my team, Dad. I know. I... No. I'm not the only person on it. I, I'm not exactly known for being able to take punishment, but then again, I had a good teacher show me a few things about doing a lot of damage really quickly. Well, yeah, you're not supposed to get hit in the first place. I'm still working on that part. I'll get there eventually. It's a lot easier said than done. Your mom cheats. <laughs> you never did tell me how it was you and dad got that what was that move like? Future Sight, that's it. You never told me how the two of you managed to learn that move. The better part of a lifetime of training and honestly, having crippling anxiety from your disaster sense for days or weeks or months kind of helps hmm Apollo uh, looks over his uh, claws I think I'll stick to uh, making use of these and what was that really basic but like really powerful move that it was slash I think I'm finally like starting to get the basics down of that I'm not quite sure I want to try that in combat yet though 
well, we all have to, st we all have to start somewhere, dear. Moria says, sort of getting, coming over on Apollo's other side. All right. Well, it's great seeing both of you again. I love you both. Wish me luck today. Stay safe, and keep the keep your friends and your team safe too. You got it. With that, Apollo uh, just sits back on his haunches, lifts both of his paws, and pulls both of his parents into a group hug. Big fluffy squish. <laughs> yes. All right. <sighs> Gotta get back to it. Love you both. Just suddenly see the... In the northwest of this town, you just see a giant ball of poof. Yes. And it's, it's the, the entire east. house. It, it's the... Bart shook the beer really, really hard and put it back <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> You got Meanwhile, for that. yeah, one second. Look, you said that, Glacier. I'm just sitting here like, I'll die if I do it, but my mind is saying, what if I just thunder wave them when they're having a group hug? <laughs> I'll die for it, but it'll be funny. <laughs> All right, and meanwhile. Down further south, Alibi has just bought a blinker seed. No. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> just speedy Gonzalez over here. Yeah, look, I, Apollo's on that in, instant transmission stuff. <laughs> Coffee. <And. laughs> mm. And, uh,. The Kecleon looks over at Apollo. Hello, hello. How can I help you? Um. Well, Apollo, when did you get there? <laughs> a few seconds ago. Um. Hmm. I'm not going to be buying anything today, unfortunately. I'm just here with my friends. Huh? Very well, then. Convenient Don't worry. I did buy something. What did you buy? He just holds up the blinker seed. Uh, <laughs> case of emergencies. And he looks over at a caster back behind the flu. He's like, can I get you anything, sir? No, thank you. Just passing through. Very well. Hope you can buy again soon. All right. Shall we be off to the south side of town? Well, let's not keep them waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, did they just take the main road? Yeah. As it's where Caster's going. Tower, uh, he stops a moment and looks back up at it remembering the vision he had had. <laughs> you were right, Apollo. Uh, do you remember that time when I kind of just got completely out of it and had that vision? Yes. <laughs> well, walking by the tower just reminded me of that. Mm. I wouldn't think too much on it, but at the same time, it could be important. I spoke with my parents uh, before I kind of snuck up on you back at the mart, but uh, apparently the key to learning future sight, like my father knows, uh, involves, uh, oh, what did he say? Crippling anxiety and uh, the better part of a lifetime of training. Um, and a very, very well-tuned disaster sense. So, um, 
maybe a while, if at all, before we see that kind of uh, utility from me. <laughs> well, if it benefits, then I guess it can't be too harmful. Well, being able to take down a target with that stuff is one thing. Living with it afterwards, that's another matter. Are we all ready to go? Then I until he looks over at them and gives a nod. If you are ready, I'll lead the way. Let's get this over with. Very well. Come with me. Sounds good. Form the arrow position. <laughs> Thank you, Padrock, for moving into formation. And. <laughs> 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 Oh, boy. Why is this place monochrome? That monochrome is just remnants. What was left behind? Is this ash? Indeed. Hmm. Gonna just do a quick roll here. Ash? Would that mean that there's... This place was once the site of a lot of carnage. You ask me, it still looks like it is. This ain't a pl I said this a number of times, at least myself, but this place, this place isn't wanting for the living. Whatever we're going to do here, let's be swift about it. No arguments with that. So it's like Fair. the Shadow Tower. Exactly. <laughs> this feels unhealthy. Let's hope that there's no okay, harmful substance uh, in the air. Hold on, case there are. Where are these at? Uh -huh. There's still what out? There were still previous initiative rolls. Oh, okay. It's a miracle. I'm actually. Do you want us to? Do you want us to roll again, or? No, I just got rid of them. Okay. It's so. a miracle. Uh, there will be free movement up until the team reaches the broken pillar over here. Understood. All right. With that, Paul is going to roll perception. Sniffy, sniff, sniff. Meanwhile, is that Ash? Yep. Yeah. Careful not to breathe any of that stuff in. I don't think you have a choice in the matter. Just be careful about how you walk around. The nine days looked over at the uh, EV. Give me one moment. Sorry. Do we have any preparations for what in free movement or no? You can do one move. Okay. I think you already Except know what I'm. Right. Yes. No, go ahead. I was going to ask if that Pokemon head looks threatening. Uh, the Pokemon here looks like they are just looking around. They seem to be keeping watch. Don't trust them. This place used to be a gated community. Used to be. I never really understood the point of such things. People like their privacy. It makes them feel like they're safer. <laughs> so much safer. Ironic how that works. <laughs> Indeed. Shadow just kind of keeps her uh, ground as she's waiting for the team to proceed. 
Yeah. All right. Should I take the frontal uh, side, or do we need someone to go ahead? Let's you and I go ahead. Take point. I'll be right behind you. Um, I guess uh, recycle the turn order. I guess recycle the turn order until I leave these first. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Actually, it would be Apollo. Like I said, recycle the turn order until I leave these first. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so everyone can come to this rock. Rock out. I want to keep some distance, but understood. And Alavi, you can make your turn. Well, yeah. he's going. He's going to come out about to about here, but he's going to do a perception. If that's okay. Yep. He's obviously guarded around the lawn that's out in the open. Yeah. Let's see. Right. Have you approached the Pokemon? What's that? You approached the Pokemon? Yes, but he's also most uh, checking around like the vicinity of that Pokemon just to make sure there's nothing out too out of the ordinary. Doesn't seem to be too strange. And as Elavi is approaching the uh Morgram just kind of perks up before turning towards him and he gives a little sneer as he uh brandishes his claws. Well well, what do we got here? Someone you don't need to be p minding. <laughs> oh, really? I, I ain't here to let you pass. Better get out of here. I'm afraid or not. Or what? Or you have to go through me. You say that like that would be a problem. Come at me if you think you're so strong. Well, I've already used my standard action, so... And Caster can make their turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Oh, so I actually look out the windows. Go on. Sorry, what? No, I, it just helps if I actually pop out the windows instead of keeping them on roll 20. Okay. Anyways, go ahead. Look, there's an entire rescue team behind us. Is this really a fight you want to pick? I've been given so orders to watch the place. You're not going unless you take me out. I'm not going to make that easy on you. Uh, can I try and roll Intimidate? Go ahead. Sorry, what? Go ahead. Okay. Sorry, Rod. Uh, let's see. Aww. Yeah, it looks so Five, tough. 5d6, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it looks so Don't... tough. Out of here, though, the solid roll, a solid roll caster. <laughs> Always a pretty good roll. Don't say we didn't warn you. Alright. Alas, I did a move and a skill check. That's all I got. <laughs> uh, Padrock. 
Follow you, fiery boy. Forgot there's take a turn. So we're doing this? Go for it. <laughs> and with that, takes a deep breath in. And foosh. Boom. Okay. Uh, I don't lie, I was expecting a stews button. No, not the Chris initiative. After six. Uh, I can't remember the types. This news button doesn't dark, last long enough. Dark Fairy, I think? Yeah, Dark Fairy. They stole my Dark Fairy's type, and I'm mad. Mm. <laughs> he uh, gets hit by the uh, flamethrower, and he's like, Alright, alright, I give up. Really? Do we believe him? <laughs> Can I roll something to check how honest he's being? Uh, sure. Intuition. Yeah, you're not buying it. But he, uh, quickly sneers and runs over, and then... Oh, that is a move, isn't it? That is oh, a move. Wow. That just sounds like faint attack with extra steps. <laughs> actually, that's that's actually. Here's a question: Can I actually make an intercept on this at all? Oh, uh, wait, no, I can't. I can't because I've already acted this round. Yeah. No, you... it, would just, it would eat your next turn. I think. Uh, uh you can. So you would have range to. There's... Ranged intercept, I think, was actually what skill was that? Mid athletic, I think. Straight, straight. Can we get confirmation on that? Um, yes, it's athletics. Uh, let me actually pull up my uh, intercept here. I think I've actually got it listed down as a move. That's ranged intercept. Which is easier to find on the document. Yeah. What are we looking for? Ranged intercept. Ranged intercept. Oh. Uh, it's Mully intercept. So let's see. An ally within movement range is hit by an adjacent foe. Uh, that's intercept melee, so you must make an acrobatics or athletics check with a DC equal to three times the number of meters they have to move to reach the air with triggering ally. Which in this case is two <clears throat> spaces, isn't it? Three. Three, okay. yeah. So you would have to roll a nine or higher. You do make it. Uh, if you succeed, you push the triggering ally one meter away from you. And shift to occupy the space, and are hit by the triggering attack. So, LB takes the uh, 44. Uh, 44, 1, 30 damage. And the Morgrim kind of sneers at uh, LB and he's like, yeah, being the protected kind, huh? Unlike you, I have my morals. Levi. Alright. Four. Ah, uh, you should have surrendered when you, when you decided to do so. But seriously, sit still. And uh, Morgan kind of winces for staggering to his uh, knee. You don't get mercy anymore. You wasted it. 
And Vader. Uh, that was four, five, six, seven. And come to a stop here. And Shadow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's see. And she looks at the uh, Morgram before uh, taking a deep breath. And... Boom. Shadow fire. So. It's 35.5. More ground takes 34 damage. And Apollo. She just sort of <laughs> growls at the uh, Morgrim, glaring him down. As he takes a, a hit from a black and purplish flame from her. Alright, so Apollo's gonna come all the way over here, and he's going to use a, a scratch attack. Get up to my scratch attack here. Do not pass start. Do not collect 200. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a critical hit. Um, you want to confirm so... the crit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be. That's one way to flex. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the 20 there. Minus 42. And the Morgram looked a little beaten up, but kind of just tenses up his uh, muscles as the paralysis is keeping him there. Um, also, uh, move, uh, treat all uh, of his moves as, um, uh, is, is that will moves are now EOT? EOT yep. is now... I remember pressure. Yeah. Yep. I love you. Uh, you well, get your I turn. Have to skip mine. I have to skip and... mine, but I also, but there's also the effect that I have every turn, which is uh, yeah, uh, restore ten percent. Which okay. in this case is that I think is six. healing tick. One tick. Yep, I've, I've figured it was six. All right, tester. And flanking. I figured I may as well show it. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. <laughs> These Ashlands don't exactly work too well for you, huh, Caster? <laughs> yeah. I'm more impressed that I rolled a three Wait, both isn't times. He flanking? <laughs> this is true. He yes. rolled three two times. I threw up three oh. in, twice in a row. Wow. No, sorry. It was the self, self healer of that. In the moment. All right. Patrick. Uh, I was going to step up and take advantage of this flank. Please don't burn Apollo. <laughs> Please and thank you. <laughs> and check the crit. <laughs> no crit. No crit. No crit, Sherlock. All right, it's 49. One twenty-seven. But he is going to take a couple steps back away from his claws. Mm -hmm. Then turn. Five. What did he need for that? I believe he's still paralyzed. Can't move. Mm. I, I, I mean, think he had to roll. Uh, to roll over also, uh, well. The minus speed doesn't matter because it's already your last Pokemon. Uh, DC 5. So, he can move. Oh, it, so at 5 or higher, he can move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meter beat. <clears throat> so, he cannot use Force Surrender right now. So, let's that we believe. see. 
in the immediate vicinity. He goes for the leader. And rather, he turns around and blasts both of them. Oh, he has Dazzling Gleam. Of course he does. So that is Mrs. Zero. Apollo. And for Hester. 39. 24. And Levi. Okay. Ish. So seeing what just happened, Levi is just going to... Well... Might as well. Moves over to... Moves over to Alavi's side before... That black hand suddenly becomes a lot lighter in color. He's gonna chop him. And then he He's punches the shit him. out of him. No, not a chop, just a straight up punch across the face. Nice. He's gonna brick break that nose. <laughs> <laughs> and that is neutral damage on Dark Fairy, so 26. 16. And then Shadow. Also going to move back a bit. Realizing he doesn't have the best punch in the world, he's going to back off so he can think about it for a bit. For next time. <laughs> well, that's not going to work. But, let's see. She... Her tails flare up, and then she releases a uh, wave of purple energy at the uh, Orgrim, and misses. I'm, sh I'm surprised they didn't take advantage of the flank, though. They aren't a team player. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, Apollo. Uh, I use attacked, so yeah. my turn is... Uh, and Elevy. Yeah. Drop a rock on his head. <laughs> as much as I'd love to, I don't think I would do enough. So we're going to do the old reliable bonk. <laughs> and and advantage. Oh, no, right. No crit. Yeah, good enough. It's good 28. enough. 28. One. And caster. Try again. Yeah, let's th this time with less suck, please. <laughs> Give him the goods. Oh, right. I forgot my turn turned <laughs> over, so plus six more health. Oh, uh, let me go ahead and check your crit. Almost. Very close. But you do get uh, I do get the fact. If I do get it. So that is let's see. Secret. Power. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm sad. What? The effect in an urban area is uh, take a wild guess. Paralysis? Yes. <laughs> yes, add more paralysis to what's already paralysis. <laughs> Reset the paralysis count. <laughs> so, Padrock. All right. Padrock's going to take note of the Pokemon he sees back here before stepping forwards, and... One thing I want to key note of is he's stood, withstood a lot of damage so far. He's still standing, though. Exactly why I'm concerned. Well, Whoosh. And, and as he's back. gathering his breath, he'll quickly say out, I think we might be in for an ambush. I saw someone around the hanging around the corner there. Let's not keep him waiting. 36. All right. Uh, 
So he's still standing. Yep. CRD, I knew it. So... He turns to, uh... That's... Does that get rid of the paralysis? With that higher wall? I think they have to beat no, 16. Uh, you can't get rid of paralysis if that's all in confusion. Oh. One, two, three, Array for persistent five, status effects. Five. So he looks at the nine tails and makes an attempt to run over to her and then a good old pat on the back and <laughs> already been finished by a move oh that's actually 12 One, two, three, four. wait Wait, no, no, the Nine Tail has to be had to have been attacked already. Oh, if assurance is target, not the user. <laughs> okay. Uh that makes uh, a lot more sense too. Defense, 37. One. Pull up the UI. 17. And Levi. And he just kind of Stumbles over as the uh, paralysis is keeping him on. Hard to move, is it? Let's see if I can make it harder. <laughs> Give him the old one, two. Four, one. Dipping away, the bit by bit. There it is. I knew it. How? And Levi just, just collapses over, limp on the ground. Levi just take a moment to look him over and say, like, "That's what I thought." Oh no! You, you he was drugged. Same, you thought the same thing as I did, didn't you? Out of character, Glissy. Is there any way I could convince you to dispense experience for this particular engagement? Because Apollo's got like five experience <laughs> between him and learning Slash. You'd have to get rid of a, <laughs> you'd have to get rid of a move. Um, let's would I actually see. though? Because let's see, Home claws, scratch. I've only got three. I mean, I don't use quick attack at all, so I'll get rid of that. Let me just check something here. Uh, first week. That's close enough, so let's see. You are where? That. Uh, everyone gets 174. 174? Yep. Well, if that's the case, I would jump up to 22. Same. And the next level is 600 experience. There. Yeah. Shadow steps forward, sort of ignoring the uh, downed Morgrim. It's like, we don't have much time, let's go. Agreed. Plus, the one can apply one uh, point if they leveled up. Give me a moment, I have here. to do uh, math. Let me move. Hmm. Uh. Most around the corner. Big jagged scales, long claws. Pretty sure it's not a dragon. So 
Sounds like they're trying to throw a party for us. You know what? I think I'm going to show these guys a little something extra. An Artemis family special. Let's yeah, make sure we move in sync. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, I think I calculated that correctly. You should be at eighty-five out of six hundred, Halloween. Uh, yeah, uh, that uh, I was right. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, is that your turn, Apollo? It is my turn. And anyone who is leveled up can apply one more stat point. Hello. Yep. Well, considering that they were warned that there was something around the corner, uh, Luffy's not going to move very far, but he is going to use Iron Defense again. Apply plus six HP again. And be at combat stage four for defense. <laughs> Oop. And fast. Give me one second. I learned it to move. Yeah, learned it to move. I do not until 60, uh, 26. So. <laughs> well, 60, Jesus. <laughs> I meant to say 26, I'm sorry. <laughs> I missed the fact that I learned to move at level 21. Oh, well. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah, you would have gotten a move. A uh, faint, yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I would have replaced it with, though. I should probably check it on PMD. Continue. I'm doing research. Three, four, five, six. I'm just going to pause here for a moment. Okay. And Patrick. All right. One, two, three, <laughs> seven. None. And here. All right, and Levi. Levi would take a moment to look over this guy once more, just checking the pulse, checking themselves, checking the body before taking a deep breath and shaking his head. <sighs> you tried to fight us in the place for the dead. Now you get to join them. A waste of life is what it is. He knew what he was getting into. The people on these drugs seem surprisingly lucid. They think that they're unstoppable. It makes you belligerent. Not stupid. Shadow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And she stops and waits for the uh, rest of the team. Yeah, follow. And maximum floof overload. <laughs> And Ellaby. I want to get the drop on this guy. If he's right, right around the corner. Oh, he's back at that corner. Where the guy is. All right. <clears throat> and Caster. One moment.
And Patrick. All right. One, two, three. Oh, there's an entrance here. Five. Oh, that's a guy. What do you see? Spiky back. Brown. Spiky back, spiky back, spiky back, spiky back. Close to being roundish. Spiky back roundish. What color are they? And brown. Tan, oh, and brown. tan and brown. It's probably a ground type. All right. We got to apply my plus six. And me by. One, two, three, four, five. Stop here, peek in. See the guy. But instead of entering first, they're going to just cross over right here. Here he's supposed to sit right of me. Seven, so and a whole lot I can do if I want to attack. So I'm gonna maintain some distance. Actually, better idea. From right here. In a roll perception. Go on. Do I see anything in the area and or anything about the sand slot of uh, the Pokemon here? It doesn't seem out of the any it doesn't seem out of the ordinary in order to be a immediate vicinity. Alright. And So, the Pokemon, let's see, does not take notice and continues standing by the uh, pole. Shadow just braces herself and waits for the, uh, looks at the team and is like, so what's your plan? Given that oh. Alvi, you still good to take point again? I think I've recovered enough, yes. All right. You're first through. Caster, watch you in right behind them. All right. But I don't want you to attack. Padrock? Yeah? You're coming in right on Caster's heels. Caster, be ready with a helping hand, all right? Levi? Cause hell, all right? Sure. Hulk, smash. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what that Levi moment felt like. Yeah, that, that is quite <laughs> literally what that was. He is green. Out of curiosity, though, Apollo, any idea? What, I'm kind of curious to see what's to the right of us. Who's right, yours or mine? Mine. To the east. <sighs> Otherwise, we can take care of the immediate threat first, though. Let's take care of the immediate threat first, and then we'll double back and see what's going on over there, if anything at all. If anything at all. Of course. All right. That said, it would have been your turn next, but if you want to you to go first. Uh, I am going to be doing another... Oh, one. I'm uh, basically ah. sharpening my claws. Understood. Do it yourself, uh, manicure. <laughs> Shadow oh. just stays where she is and waits for the team. And a pile of ashes. How sacrilegious. <laughs> <laughs> Hollow just has his own personal uh, scratching post. 
<laughs> that would be. Just in case it may be what I think it is, don't follow too close. Careful. So, under the assumption that it may be hostile in this case, he's going to preemptively attack. <laughs> With Bonk. something that's gonna, okay, maybe not reduce their <laughs> special defense, but okay, it hits anyway. <laughs> Twenty-five. That's one way to introduce yourself. So lights. Now the Pokemon definitely notices you. Flash. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, I can actually it. learn Flash. So can I. I'm sad. <laughs> Luffy was exactly one space out of helping hand range. Oh. Oh well. You could have actually uh, done it before he moved. Oh, I thought it had to be as the move. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. For next time. Now I know. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a very good damage roll anyway. Would have been an extra There's ten. That would be twenty-three. Okay. I think I can move here, right? I lost count. To <laughs> be honest, you were standing here. I think so. One, so one two, two, three, three four, five, six, six, seven. Yeah. Yeah, you made it. You got enough. Give me your fucking money. <laughs> Love it. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. Stealing his stuff. Uh, he's unfortunately not holding anything. Next physical move. So, 29. Oof. Oof. And Paddock. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Defenses appear oh. strong. Okay. Here we go. Now, now I can do the thing. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Safe to roll. Oh, Not yet. Hold on. on. He's giving you the healthy hand. Oh. Good timing. That is Although that'd be a eight accuracy. Yeah, it'd be eighteen. Still not enough, but plus ten damage. Bad. So that is Thank you very much. Fifty two, one and six. Fifty. And Levi. That's a lot of damage. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Just gonna sweep around the pillar here, and basically grab onto the pillar with one hand and come around uh, using using the pillar for momentum what to knock the. Sh you're, you're doing the Kirby thing where he grabs the, the the pose and just does like the ninety degree turn. Yeah, it just goes a whopper chang. <laughs> Just to knock the shit out of this guy. He only took five damage. Jesus. <laughs> like, Levi just, you just notice, like, Levi just shake his hand. I was like, ow. You know, it's a real shame. Okay, so that wall behind Padrock does not look very stable. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Am I going to get Kool-Aid manded? Fence curl is a swift action. Oh, I know where this is going. He's a tanky boy. No, it's worse. <laughs> it's worse. You it's know worse. the combo, right? It's so, so gonna much worse. Out. He's going to blow Ice ball. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that is a uh, one... Two, three, 
<laughs> Good fucking god. And he crashes through the fucking wall and comes out the other side. And that is, uh... Two. So, hold on. He uh, failed against two people? So, that is, uh... Thirty. Uh, let me see. I need to check something. Also, hydrate. Hydrate. I'll hydrate in <laughs> a second. So, who took damage? You. I needed to check the uh, type chart. This is probably going to hurt, isn't it? Oh, Twelve damage. Not. And... And he is knocked the fuck out. He went straight into the wall, knocked himself out after a t double crit fail. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes the garbage just takes itself out. <laughs> you okay, Lily? Yes, it doesn't seem to have stung too much. Though I don't envy what he ended up doing. This is a literal case of, are you okay? You should see the other guy. <laughs> 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 There's now a big gaping hole in the wall as the sand slashes just sprawl out on his belly after crashing through it quite spectacularly. And the nine tail is just kind of snorps and looks over at the sand slash before shaking her head and continuing on. All right, six, seven. I'm going to see if I can sweep around through that uh, back area. Was that with the plus 10 damage? Hmm? For the uh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you actually take plus ten for that. Uh, so minus ten. You're now at thirty six. Yeah, consider that. Isn't ground type damage double effective towards rock? Or no, it's rock nope. damage, not ground. Roll, roll it as a rock. Why does it say it's type ground? Is it? It shouldn't. That's it not correct. That's not correct. I just change that. It is rock type, not ground, but it doesn't matter because he's knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like concerned for a moment, like, oh no, ground damage, my weakness. <laughs> so, hello. <elevate>. Anyway, <laughs> Oop. I gotta remember to do that more often. Yep. Well, um, seems that was a uh, spec spectacle. Uh, uh, do we go back, or do we keep on going forward? Keep heading I'm forward. Hello. I'm going to sweep I'm gonna sweep around from uh, this side, so just keep on trying to head south, if you can. Kind of hard to do that with a giant wall in the way. Well, Mr. East. Um, we saw how sturdy that wall was just now. We're Frankly, not. Apollo, I don't want to end up like that guy. Well, that's why you're not going to use rollout or use your head. I would not create more disturbance than necessary. All right. Yeah, but we're thing. not going back east. We can There's go. Another way. There is another way. We can go east just to double, double check and make sure Apollo isn't walking into a problem, but. I'll well, I'm, of, I'll take a peek over on this side. I'm looking uh, in this area right here. Like, there is an entryway right here that sort of connects this room with the one that you're in right now. So I can just sweep through here, meet you guys. Do you see anything here. right here? Um, this area right here is completely clear. Understood. Right here. Uh, I cannot see that far. Understood. Guess we're going west. Uh, Al V, can you see that far? I can only see as far as here. Like this area right here. Yeah, I can only see as far as here. They're not in the room yet. Okay. Yeah. I'm like right here. <laughs> that said, uh, I've done my move and I've done my action. Faster. Okay. 
And I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> there is absolutely no need for me to move right now. <laughs> Patrick. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because it seems like the only other doorway is over that way. And Levi. Keep an eye open, Levi. So, yeah, no, I'm scouting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it'd be a lot easier to scout if there wasn't a massive wall in front of me. Yeah. Shadow looks back at uh towards Apollo and she's like, Are you gonna be coming with us? I'm gonna be sweeping around from this other side here just to make sure there's nothing in this room that we've missed. Very well. And she starts off. And back to Apollo. Let me just double check something real quick here. I sprinted last turn, so... Going to then use home claws and end my turn. All right. Uh, since Apollo sees nothing in the current room, he may come back to meet up with the uh, group. Anything? Clear. <clears throat> if you want to move into the room, you can. All right, uh, Bobby. Yep, let me just apply my thing. There we go. He's going to make for over here. Yo, so, Caster, make a perception roll. Oh boy. So, unable to notice. Oh, it's a mawile. Okay, a mawile comes up behind Caster and... Stop. Not that. And he flinches. Yep. That, That's... Still, hits, that, that still hits even though it's a ghost. Astonished. Oh, like, yeah, it is ghost. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Fuck me. I forgot. I, 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 forget, I forget type. if it's. Yeah, I, I can't remember if that one was one of the, mm -hmm. one of the weird exceptions. I'm pretty sure it'll flinch, but I don't think it'll do damage. It, yeah, it won't do damage, but you will get flinched. I forgot there's a fucking normal type in this party. Oh. <laughs> yeah. you don't, that was wrong. You don't take damage, but you do flinch. And Shit, they're coming around from behind. Everyone hears a loud scream the end caster. Scream! Yeah, flinched. And Padrock's turn. Alright. The measuring tool is giving me five feet, so this should be in range. Um, um just remember, um, this it, is a line. No, he's so doing he Ember. Oh. Yeah, um, this is for uh, 
move purposes, not moving. Hmm. More worried about, I thought you were going to use flamethrower and it got very really concerned. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that, no, that, no, no. That's no. what I was thinking, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, Maul is out of range of flamethrower, but not out of this. This is fair. <laughs> this is fair. Uh, Mind see. beam. Okay. Pew pew. Oh no! Steel fairy. Oh, is oh steel. Fairy. For a second, I thought it was dark. And steel. steel fairy. That is no, I think it's heavy for five point five. And wait. Huh. Hold just a second. We have oh, a fuck no. psychic Never. is normal against fairy and not very effective on steel, I checked. Right. Got it. Interesting. So before Levi makes his turn. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, and didn't Mawile already move against it's the next ability and also an ambush? Also, that's a dark type move being used on a dark type. But it doesn't matter because. Automatically flinches to ambush. There. All the same, though. Is Not too much damage, at least. 32.5. 13 damage. And Shadow's turn. Oh, no, Levi. Oh, for fuck's sake, the... <clears throat> See, the... See, the... See, the... See. Right. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. She goes right, right towards the mobile, and you can already see like electricity just charging up on his body before he got there. Him? Oh no! Oh wait, wait, wait. back. Uh, yeah. okay. <laughs> so, no, no, no methods. 27, 1, 14. And Shadow her turns back and growls. <laughs> I didn't mean to move that. Crap. <laughs> uh, oops. Oh, my wow, what a cool one. So, let's see. Oh, that worked perfectly. Uh, actually, no. Damn it, Apollo, you have to be in the way. Okay, she won't do that, but instead she will target the Mawile and... Hmm. 41, 1, 5. Jeez. <clears throat> Shadow is a powerful type. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's super effective against everything. Everything except other Shadow Pokemon. I remember that mechanic. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Just, just, we just have to hope that she doesn't have uh, what is that shadow move called that basically he goes in a giant area 
<laughs> Shadow, uh, fuck. Shadow the Raven. raining one. Shadow Storm. Shadow Storm. Which is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, the Curlia seeing the, uh, Mawal go down gets a little bit hesitant, but decides to brave it and one, two, three, four, five. Oh no. And in 34, 1.5. Oh yeah. no. Uh, hang on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't think I can actually make that uh, intercept, can I? Is there anyone who can make that intercept? Probably me. You want to try it? Um, we have our options of going the rest of the mission a man down or being I'm... mildly inconvenienced. You know... Actually, I don't think I can actually make the range. That's like four tiles. I would have to make a 12 or higher. Wait, hang on a second. That's 42 damage. I had a lot more health than that. How did I go from full health at 68 to negatives if my max health was 68? Remember the feint attack? You took 13 earlier. Right. Fuck. 13 plus 42 is 55. Which is still less than 68. Did you get here earlier? earlier? No. I came in full health. Did you both take some health when you got hit with something else? Did you double deduct? Probably that's what happened. So, technical difficulties. So, if you <laughs> took 13 from the faint attack, didn't you get hit with a cone attack from that nope. fairy demon? No, no. He, detected it, uh, that. he detected it. Yeah. Oh, he detected that. So, 68 minus 13 minus 42. 68. Yeah, you did double the. Uh, 13 damage. No, we do it. Yeah. You probably put it in the same. You do you take an injury though because you're below half. I could still interrupt, but otherwise I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah. So the mama is down and Apollo. Uh you were actually flinched. Yep. So, Aloe. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Well, I can get here. He's going to try to get some some of this thing's attention. And boop. Okay. Try another boop. Okay. Ah, so close. A special uh, special rock. So six. One. And oh, cast. Hang on. Huh? I forgot to add Which... my plus six. I forgot to put my plus six. Yep. Cast, cast are you, are you still was... flinched? No. That was last nope. turn. That was last turn. Okay. Make it sure. Give me your money. <laughs> 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 Right. And let me just do it again for just to check the crew. Anyone else find the irony in here where he was accusing Levi of being a thief? Now here he is using Covet. <laughs> wow. Why do all of my characters wind up knowing a move that lets you steal stuff? <laughs> this is not planned. <laughs> <laughs> no item and pattern. Yeah, right. 
three on a 1d100. Monster just accidentally cops to fail and feels incredibly self-conscious about it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you leaving, Chris? Good night. Night, Chris. Nighty night, night, Chris. <laughs> oh, there was another hydrate too before you left. Yep, I did that. Ooh, <clears throat> nice. It's a crit. Burn. Plus a burn. Yeah, that is. You want fifty? You want to flex that crit? <laughs> you want to flex it? <laughs> nah. I. Well, he has burned. Takes one burn, burn injuries. injuries. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, actually, uh, no, actually, no, he does not. Huh? No, doesn't seem to have been on the drug. Receiving critical hit, cause attack to instead deal damage as if it was not a critical. Uh, does the the burn still applies though, right? Yeah, it's the burn. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, they're gonna take. That is actually the, not forty. Not plus forty. And your normal damage. It's thirty-eight. And now she's burned. Still painful. <laughs> she's just a delaying the inevitable. Finish her, Levi. Actually, hold up. Let me check something. I had to check something because I realized uh, I used something. Okay. I have double checked it and made the requisite changes. So Levi is going to just sweep around over here. Tempted as I am to just use his foot to just push the mob out of the way. Well, I won't be rude <laughs> this time. Instead. Beam. Lift, lift a hand. <laughs> Gonna check for the crit. Yep. This is the JoJo meme right here. JoJo beam. It's just, it's just, just leave out a look at the curlia. Just stares in the front, and then just proceeds to lift a hand, lift up a, a palm to their face, and just blast them without a second thought. Okay, then. Seeing the uh, attack, she makes a desperate attempt. Well, aren't you stubborn? She makes a little huff. And... However... Somebody is not intent to let her leave. Oh, uh, uh, don't forget. Um, that's actually a uh, daily X two move for her now because uh, she's under pressure. Yeah. Would a Apollo? She... Go ahead. Well, would Apollo be able to use pursuit off of that? Um. Yes, he would. I don't actually... think that's an interrupt. Yes, actually. Hang on, just a second. I think it's a, if it's specifically a fleeing foe, I think it might be. Yes, so Pursuit. If the foe is fleeing or being switched out, Pursuit may be used as an interrupt targeting the triggering foe. When used as an interrupt, Pursuit gains a plus 5 bonus to all movement speeds and has a damage base of 8. So, do you want to do that? Or... Yes, I you want to run for it and macker. Yes, uh, Apollo uh, leaps right over Caster and uh, like, get back here. 
Sorry, Glacianda, you wanted to do a thing. I, I just know that we, <laughs> so, don't, we don't get to use Pursuit like this often, okay? <laughs> so, ignore that uh, damage roll right there. I'm going to roll it manually here. What I saying, Charger? Would he have snacked her while she was trying to teleport? Or after? after. after. She was playing the battle. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you running? Okay, he slept. <laughs> you could have also uh, moved up the damage base for that roll and then moved it back then. Shoulda, woulda, <laughs> probably shoulda. But didn't. So this is uh, 65 damage. Yeah, that Curly ain't getting up. Even if it was super effective, they go. It ain't though. So. All right. <laughs> Embarrassing. So. <laughs> uh, our shadowy nine tails here. Yep. She's kind of rolls her eyes at the uh, Curly and. Moves up to the uh, rock before sitting down and looking back at them to wait. Uh, the team has free movement up to this wall. <sighs> well, I guess we were just not attentive enough. Damn it. They had good hiding spots. Let's try to keep, well, let's try to keep our eyes peeled for the future. I can um, still walk, but well, I've seen better days. Hold still. Levi says he walks in front of uh, Apollo. Let's see. I know I have something here somewhere. This will do. Just takes out a potion and starts spraying down Apollo's injuries. Just a standard 20 HP potion. So just at least take the worst off of it. Thanks, yep. Levi. Not a problem. Just do your best not to get hit for a bit. All right, that's no. enough of this. Ain't that the goal? How's everybody else looking? Fine for now. Fine. But... Since we've been snuck upon that, I'm getting a bit nervous. Where's the rest of them? Considering yeah. we haven't been ambushed again, I don't think that was all. Shadow just kind of makes a little smirk and tosses a uh, citrus berry towards Apollo. You, you had stole that? my idea. Very <laughs> <laughs> sniffy before. Uh... Snatching up in his mouth and chomping. Nomf, nomf. Thanks, Shadow. All, all I'm saying is, where's the... To them? Can't all just be coming in one and two? Well, let's just hope we see them before they see us. You all look like you're getting beat up. Well, that usually happens when we get in fights. I mean, at least I blend in with the background. Unfortunately you're for us. not wrong about that. As Unfortunately, hero, go as ahead. A great hero once said, "People die when they are killed." <laughs> yeah, Apollo. Apollo can take lead and start here if he wants to enter the room. All right, I'm first going to roll perception for all um, relevant information in the area. All right. He doesn't notice a, uh, anything immediately other than a certain someone down there. We've got a white monkey boy down here. Understood. I'm going to come out this far, but I'm not getting any closer. And Elevy. Yep. 
adds one tick. Count. Mm. Oh, excuse me. You know what? What? Uh, you know what? Never mind, actually. I don't think it would be really necessary. I will sit myself right here. And yes. You can move up to here and then start your uh, turn. Okay, okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not seeing anybody to the north. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Patrick, you can also move right. here and then start your turn. In, okay, here then start. Yep. One, two, three, four, and he is not going to be able to take a punch. Anyway. The... <clears throat> While the group did go that way, Levi's feeling like he... Levi wants to cover the rear, so he's going to just go this way. Just to take a peek, see what's going on. Mm -hmm. As well as roll for a... Uh, reception. Hey, six. Nice. So you don't seem to notice anything around here, mm. nor do you really get the idea that anyone else might be here. Hmm. You could still flank around on the other side, surprise the enemy. <laughs> so he's going to... Maintain for now. That is not notice. One, two, three, four. And just sit there and wait for a follow. He does not seem to have noticed us. Use it to your advantage. How are the players feeling, by the way? I'm okay. I'm alright. I'm alright. Three hours. A little, tired. a little tired. Probably should have taken a break, but otherwise I'm fine. We're, look, it looks like we're at almost near the end. Yeah, Apollo. All right. So Apollo again is is not going to be taking point with this interaction with uh, this guy here. So And I love you. Assume all th all the re residents are a threat. You can little try to be a little sneaky. And is going to well, let's see. He doesn't know what kind of 
typing this thing is, so he's going to go with his strongest thing and see what goes on. So upon being hit, the uh, Pokemon here just sort of makes a quick turnaround and gives LOV a crazed stare. Hello, this one's looking a little crazy. I'll take your word for it. Oh, hang on. I got to do the thing. Eh, hold on. There we go. There. After that, he just sort of, like, shouts and beats his chest, looking ready to uh, go for a brawl. Uh -oh. and faster. I forgot Team Yell existed. <laughs> Team Yell. <laughs> <laughs> A bit of trivia. This was actually going to be uh, during the original draft of uh, Donovan's Betrayal. This was going to be the battle team that played. <laughs> As they cheer for like a random <laughs> fucking wormhole to try and evolve. Go Wurmple, go. <laughs> go Wormy, go. You know, it was a fucking snom, wasn't it? <laughs> of course it was a fucking snom. <sighs> anyway, one, two, three, four. Possibly try to use... Where's the thing? Could be a thing. Ooh, this guy's got good evade. I'm not sure it actually, because uh, this would not be the first time um, this thing's failed to populate correctly. So, Glacy, can you go ahead and check that? Yeah. Mind you, Apollo, this uh, it only failed when you had an accuracy buff. Yeah, he doesn't have an accuracy buff. My rolls tonight have not been great. This was a good. This was a good roll. Well, adequate roll, but good enough. Uh, it does just barely miss. Sadness. <laughs> yeah, Hadrock. All right. Had to fix these one more moment. Say, like Patty Cake, Patty Cake, fires, man. <laughs> All right. Got a safe line. Deep breath. Boom. Yeah. Is this... Not 43. 40... Yeah, 43, not 42. Here's a question. Is this off flinching at all from these attacks? <coughs> nope. Yeah, definitely drug use, aside from the crazy stare. And Levi. So Levi, hearing the commotion, is going to just... They were so casually sweep around the house and come on to the other side and slowly make an approach before coming to a stop and waiting intent to get the jump on this guy. Actually, right about here will be the max range and you're just kind of hiding behind the house at the moment and just waiting. <laughs> In shadow, one, two, three, four... So Levi, while he's standing there, sees right here a massive purple tornado whip up. Fire spit. Oh god, that was Shadow's form and it's a crit. <laughs> she looks angry. That's basically the entire front of the house. Jesus. Yeah, I knew. I, I literally called it. I, I freaking called it. And the Vigoroth taking a shit ton of damage just goes 
fucking wild and charges at a LOV at breakneck speed. This guy has been insane! Ah! He almost crit that! <laughs> He's not in half, half health yet? <laughs> you forget. Holy shit, that happens. Yeah, six stages, man. Apollo. Hang on just a second. All right, Paul is going to move right here, and then he's going to go his new teeth off. <laughs> here it is, everyone. Oh, it works. I see it. It's a crit. Oh, boy. I don't see Apollo anywhere. He's under oh, there he is. Yeah. Oh, oh there. okay, it's a pass. Okay. <laughs> Good lord. It's like it's like one uh one out of one of those uh samurai scenes where they're like where like you got like two people staring at staring each other down. They charge at each other doing like the whole like passing slash. And it's like a couple seconds after that when the loser ends up dropping dead. So the Vigoroth going insane uh, takes via hit and then just crashes into the ground before going completely motionless. Just that stay that just like that uh, like uh. blank stare just up into nothingness basically where there are no pupils or anything. <laughs> it's like Oh yes, definitely Z R D. Free movement is now available. Ah, here I was trying to get the drop on this guy, and y'all already got him. Well, uh, I mean, those two crits were fucking something. I was not expecting a massive turn. Shadow. She looked over at him. What was that? It's called Shadow Storm. Okay. Uh, that's not a move I know of. I'm going to assume it's more magic from Glacy's world. <laughs> well, if you want to yeah. call the technology that created this magic, sure. Techno I don't follow. Uh, not again. Hey, it's folks. complicated. Hold on, Apollo. Fun. Hold on, Apollo. What do you mean it's complicated? An organization called Cypher is responsible for my creation. Okay. But we don't have time to talk about that here. I see. Well, that just leaves more questions than answers, but I understand. Meanwhile, Levi, Levi's going to look at the Vigoroth, bend down and check them as well before... Uh, letting go, and he does something akin to a silent prayer before moving off. Apollo. As Apollo comes up to the door, Pad Rockwell, the fourth, I, there's nothing in here. A set of stairs? The uh, stairs What's appear up? to lead to a caved-in area, and it's uh, inaccessible. Wow. Oh. That looks promising from the outside, but uh, looks like no one's going in there anytime soon. Don't suppose you guys have to poke at the rocks. They don't seem to be uh, budging at all. Okay, it's not a fake out. Don't suppose I mean, anyone has. Uh... We should have brought Kua for some dynamite. Probably blow that sky high. <laughs> you, ha you have brick break. I can try. Point. He does have a point. <laughs> I can try. Break, not boulder break. 
I mean, it's worth a shot. Air. Now. I swear he's been wanting to use that all day. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take a moment to observe the area around us. Nothing else really out of the ordinary. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like any ambushes await us. So, are you going to try something? Yeah, I am going to try to. I'm sorry, I had the... I just had to talk to my dad for a bit. All right, let's just come on. You did use it before. Try it again. Don't break your hand in there. One, two, three. Oh, come on! You can do better than that. Come on. So you hit the rock and. It seems to cause more of the uh, ceiling to cave in. Levi's gonna quickly back up to that. And it's like, oh shit! A singular pebble falls on <laughs> Levi's head. Take one. That's enough damage. of a warning. Take one. <laughs> <laughs> he wants the one damage rock fall trap to become cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Only it's not him <laughs> taking it this time. Like, okay. No luck. I have no. There was luck, except I have a feeling that if I continue, you're not gonna see me again. <laughs> uh, death. Mm. That'd be oh, terrible. Yes, the so what you're saying is that the building would uh, use the move rock tomb on you. <laughs> That's a nice way to put it. That's I could scary possibly move. learn that. Guess there's one option left. Shadow just kind of smirks and says, "Have fun." Yeah, I hear you, Caster. Well, say something. I don't hear you. Yeah, I don't hear you. Uh oh, maybe disconnect and reconnect. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprising to me. Are you sure you're not muted? Nope. There I it heard, is. Heard that. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Yeah. D Discord was having a connection hiccup. <laughs> no worries. What were you trying to say? I don't, I, I don't remember. Hmm. I lost ah. Sorry, I lost a train of thought. <laughs> Shit. No worries. Because I remember the whole thing with the one HP trap, but uh. <laughs> yeah. Building uses rock tomb. <laughs> All right. Well, since you found that padrock, lead the way. Hey. Um. A book. Okay. Um. Is this only one way to lead? Yeah. Hmm? It oh, seems sorry. that there's only one way out. All right, one way forward. We can oh, always yeah. go back to go back the way we came. He's gonna put his paw up to motion them to stop. Uh, these not being up the order makes it a little tricky to find them, but and he doesn't spot anything. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary now. It's a blank room. That doesn't I seem go, right. Patrick, I wouldn't go too far. There's a puddle over there. Apollo, are you with us? Okay, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> You're like way the hell over there. Uh, can I actually make a roll for this? Oh, I'll make a roll. Uh, do you want to take a look? Uh, uh, that was a terrible perception roll. So neither of you notice anything strange at the moment. Aside from a large room with nothing going on. 
Well, it seems safe enough. Don't jinx it. Staying outside will be good. On the other hand, if something happens and I'm out here by myself, I'm screwed. Ah, fuck it. Inspect the water. Under the orb. Hmm. Is there anything special about the water? So, uh, you can make a uh, perception roll for that. Okay, that's perception. Same roll. That doesn't seem weird at all. Can I actually roll survival on this water? Sure. I want to see if there's anything actually different about it, because I feel like this would be a proper time to do it. That is the proper time to do it. <laughs> so, Alibi can notice something seems a little bit off about this water. Patrick? Step away Anything? from the water. Step away from the water. Yeah, he he's like laid down on the water's edge, kind of like you might do, like looking over a cliff to make sure that there's no possibility that you go forwards. Is this? Is uh, Levi going to do anything? Levi is doing a little more than just keeping an eye out. But staying in, actually, just... This is type change? Is Something is off about the water. Like, off. Like, smell, color. Uh, Hard to determine, but it's not normal. This can't be what the, the. This can't be what all of these Pokemon were here for, can it? I doubt it. One second. Might, might be where they were dumping their waste products if there's something off with it. Levi, would you happen to know anything about this at all? Huh? <sighs> Give me a moment. Let me. Uh. Apollo uh, goes over to this particular pile of rubble here and tries to grab a uh, like a rock or something out of it. Levi would like rock be begr begrudgingly. He's gonna throw it in. Hey, Patrick, heads up! I'm about to make a splash here. It's back. Yeah. Apollo just. Back kicks the rock in and uh, aims it for, like, out here. Nothing seems to happen with the rock. However, the rock everyone... Fucking, the rock fucking floats. <laughs> everyone can make a uh, perception roll. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Double 19. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. The ash is really messing with the with uh, Padrock's eyes. That is a good question. Is that uh, would this water feel familiar at all? <laughs> How the hell does Not water quite. feel familiar? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> you never know. So everyone except for Alavi and hear footsteps behind them. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, I have except, a 19 you except Padrock. Everyone, everyone but Padrock. Yeah. Oh, uh, I had a feeling. We're not alone. I'm what, sorry. What? Oh, straight. Crap. Straight. Yeah. Go ahead. I was just saying, Apollo turns around to see uh, these two coming in. Who are you? I asked you the same question. The... I asked first. <laughs> Someone who got here first. Yeah, it looks like you found what we were looking for. Anything special about that water? Now, why would we tell you that? The uh, Charmeleon looks roaring to a uh, go. 
and the septile just folds his arms and it's like <clears throat> so you're in my way so i suggest you leave before things get difficult easy for you to say we're not really going to take six on you mission here what do you say padrock you really going to take six on two? Oh, I'm sure my little friend can handle you. Team Eclipse, <sighs> hold the line. We're going to beat some sense in these people. I'm going to do a bit more than just beat some sense if I, if I think you're right. <laughs> and speaking of that three, uh, two on six. Guys, gather up. Oh, you got them up. Looking battered, the uh, three behind them uh, gather in and <clears throat> look ready to uh, keep fighting. Uh, if those are Stat buffs on Krillior, shouldn't they have gone away since she went yeah. down? Yeah, she should have. Okay. Y'all should have stayed down when you had the chance. She wouldn't go away after I click one, but whatever. So, yeah. Oh, so this should be one, and this should be one. So. Uh... Necrolia has two embarrassing injuries. <laughs> yeah, click. Yeah. Remember which each one was capable of. It was on Apollo. So, with that. Oh. I just realized. Because I added one point into speed, apparently it didn't attribute for the initiative. Oh well. Uh, let me check that. Uh, increase initiative. I didn't two. even realize it this entire time. Let, let the GM talk, you. please. And that puts you above Curlia, so it is Apollo's turn to make his move. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to use slash. And I'm going to be able to hit all f at least four of those four of those targets as I come through. Yeah, I love those diagonals. Make your move. <laughs> what? Good hit on Sceptile. That, that was Sceptile rolling for Charmeleon next. Oh, God. <laughs> Good fucking God. <laughs> oh, baby, a double. Oh, baby, what? a double. <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Are you going to beat Kua? And he did, and then he did a natural crit. Okay. Come on. No. Absolutely not. Four I am fucking impressed. critical hits. I am fucking impressed. I, wait, do the dice need to be in Somebody natural? fucking clip this. Fancy's gonna be like... I don't even you, know. You've been dethroned! <laughs> Fancy, take my advice. Quit while you're behind. Four crits in a row. Oh my right, god. That is 83. And the Curlia. Hey, I am at a loss for words. So let me just check yeah. all these. Uh, minus 73. And million. Minus 63. Mawile, minus 34, and Curlia, 
minus 73. I cannot believe that just happened. <laughs> I can't either. The word of the day today is critical. So, the set dial taking that crit and seeing how much she did to the rest of the... Uh, uh, no, they did not. So, uh, Sceptile and Charmeleon did not take injuries from those hits, correct? Uh, the Sceptile did. Took one. And Charmeleon did not. Nope. Okay. Go ahead and complete the thought, Blissey. What's up? Go ahead and complete what you were trying to say. So, seeing the massive onslaught that the Absol did to his uh, team, the Sceptile... Where's his, where's his sheet? Is going to... Turn around towards Apollo and let's see. I'm gonna burn one instance of double team and evade that. Got it. Make sure a million, however. Uh, let's see. So the Charmeleon kind of just uh, roars over at uh, Apollo after taking the uh, hit. And let's see. Oh dear. Oh dear. So. The. Turning around, he decides instead to go one, two, three, four. By five. the way, all five, um, all five of those people are afflicted with pressure now. Or now. Except for him. Since he, uh, yeah, moved he just out. moved out. Actually, hang on a second. I don't think that expires until Apollo gets knocked out. No, it, it, it goes You have to be in range of it. Yeah. If you move if out, you of range. out of range. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. What Glissy said. If you're I, out of I range look. before you uh, use your move, then it doesn't apply. I looked into it as well. <laughs> so, <clears throat> runs over to a caster with. And oh no. So if I could click on caster and not the Charmeleon, that is thirty four one. And I intercept this at all. <laughs> I'm guessing not. Uh no. <clears throat> so, he kicks past her, and boom, right into the water. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I was right. So, Caster falls into the water, can't swim, and starts sinking. Yeah, uh, oh no, it was a swamp? Uh oh. Yeah. Music stopped. Music did stop. Uh, what are you? Is that? And you are. 
special tract. So, Aster starts thinking, and what is he going to do as he's doing this? Uh, he's going to thrash about and try his damnedest to get back up to the surface. Uh, but he's just sinking further and further into muck and uh, just further and further into like muck and filth and just <laughs> all sorts of horrendous waste and chemicals from the, so, the entire the absolute raising of an entire town. So the uh, Charmeleon looks satisfied and as Caster sinks down below the uh, water. People start noticing the water start to uh, shift. Shit, shit. What? Wait, what the fuck? Caster! Caster? And after a moment, a bright red glow emanates from the water. Is... Oh my god. Apollo and... just starts glaring daggers at the Charmeleon. And what comes up instead? What? Is now something different. Is that... Caster? No. What are you going to do after you emerge from the water? I need to remember how to swap my icon, but I'll do that later. <laughs> uh, Caster is going to finally break free from the surface and his, his entire... Uh, his entire body just looks sort of off, like it's not entirely solid. It's still kind of, it's almost like sizzling and steaming. And and he's he's going to pull himself onto the, right. And he's going to pull himself onto the uh, shore. Uh, he, he's going to like drag himself onto the shore. Please tell me that's you. Are you all right? I am sick and tired of being held back. I am... I am fed up with not being valued at my true potential. I know exactly what I'm worth. I know how much better I am than all of you. And it's high time that I prove it. What? What? Where did this come from? Uh, I need to use the line tool on that. Uh, I can't. Come on, we're gonna need you. What's the line tool again? I can never remember. My fault. Yeah, it's uh, the measuring, measuring stick. Okay. The, the measuring stick. Oh, so I need to be. Here. There we go. So, the uh, fins on Esther's back 
By the way, I'm actually going to show that. The fins on Caster's back uh, light up the fur, and in a bright red glow, a powerful red energy forms around his head fins and then blasts straight through the uh, Charmeleon and the Pokemon back here. Charmeleon. Okay. 53. 1. Reptile take. 3. 1. Three. And slash takes. 53. 1. And the Mawile. That is thirty nine, forty one, forty, and seven. Also, the picture's still up on stream. Yeah, you have to click out of it. Yeah. Oops. So after the blast of energy going through them, uh, Caster looks visibly uh, exhausted. He just kind of slumps and almost passes out on the spot. And Eloise's turn. Well, regardless of what was said, he's going to protect Caster as best he can. So, he's got to move here. Oh, actually, no, that should be over here. Oh, do you need to... Okay, I'll be right back. Yep. Understood. I am remembering how I need to do this. I nice. have to... Uh, you have to back all the way up. Come on, load faster. <laughs> all right. And Esther made his turn. Padrock. All right. Padrock's still clearly shaken by whatever's happened to Caster. But he's going to try and turn his focus to the other two Pokemon. Oh, actually, uh, hey. forgot something. Ah. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> no, the other one Pokemon. Oh, well, in that case... He's going to charge up his Mind Beam. Instead, on who? On the only hit. It oh, this guy. Like uh, one of them. the sand slash. I ain't be. <laughs> <laughs> and the sand slash looks pretty beaten up and shakes his head with a uh, growl. Before running over, and oh no, spin! Oh no, spin! Oh no, is right. I know where this is going. Oh no. He did what? Good, 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 good. That is a damage brace of 13. 
And it's a damage base of 13. So what that is... That, that all of you. Oh, no. That is... 58, 1.5. Oh. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is is I I hate to mention something. Is that the right damage base on that damage roll? Yeah. He, he okay. rolled tens! Three tens! Damage base thirteen. Crunch. That is painful. You see Padrock go flying in the air and even before he lands he is knocked out his body falling limply to the ground I think he possibly bounces as he gets down <laughs> wait three injuries massive damage half damage and then knock out ugh Shadow just grunts at the attack and shakes her head. Trying to recompose uh, herself. Thankfully, I have a reviver seat, but. You can hit it. Still. <sighs> Ow. <laughs> yeah, that's a massive ouch. I was just out of range of that. Well, you wouldn't have been able to protect anybody either with it, but, uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's no yeah, Levi is gonna pop the reviver seed and just slowly get back to his feet. Just hang there for a bit, like, okay. Ow. All right. Being where he's positioned, he's gonna just like he needs a moment to recover. But regardless, stop it again. He's gonna go for it. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! He just needs a moment to recover. He's just standing there for a bit before you see his foot pivot, and then he just like swings back and just punches the, the sand slash right across the face as hard as he could. Probably enough to darn near make him lose his own balance, but it's a basically a haymaker to the base. <laughs> so the sand splash falls to the ground with a heavy grunt and he's knocked the fuck out. Large threat has been uh, <laughs> removed. Uh, Shadow, seeing the uh, Sand Slash get knocked out, uh, jumps over Adrock. And close your character sheet. Reopen yours. And uh, attacks the Charmillion with her purple and black flames. Oof. If only I could click on the right token. At forty one, no, one point. Uh, special not defense forty one point five minus thirty. All right, and Apollo. 
Paul is going to come over here and boop this Charmeleon on the snoot with... this. Check for it. Yeah, check it. Uh, 82. <laughs> Oh boy, the crits are coming in hot, aren't they? <laughs> and the Charmeleon turns towards Apollo with a Uh, can I intercept? Uh, you can try. Okay, okay, so that's one, two. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. it's acrobatic. <laughs> yeah, I forget which one. Where Ac acrobatics or athletics, either one. And you have to roll really, a uh, sit prior. <laughs> he rolled exact. Thank you, statistics. <laughs> the lucky number was six. There, that is. 38. One. One moment. Where did it go? Hey. Nice. Well, I mean. Fair is fair, right there. That's revenge poison. <laughs> yeah, right. Alibi. Let's see how you like it now. I'm going to just jump behind him, and I am going to use Omen. That's a swift action, so... Yep. His accuracy is lowered by two as a result. However, I did use Power Gem last turn, so I can't do that. Oh, that's a defense down. Surprised you didn't try and drop a rock on his head. I wasn't sure if it would work out. <laughs> and Esther made his move, had up his fainted. Levi. No words come out of you, Levi. He just shuffles over and just. Get, he's just. No words, only violence. <laughs> no words, only violence. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, today I woke up and chose violence. <laughs> huh. That's weird. What's that? <laughs> um. Oh, no, that was me being an idiot. Hold <laughs> up. There it is. Double check that. Okay. It's nothing. I was being an idiot. Um, anyway. Also, to reduce that to zero because knocked out. <laughs> and once more. So close.
So, like Charmeleon falls over, Pale Flame completely gone and lifeless. Good. Okay. Well. Master, you all right? Uh, that uh, I'll live. He's like visibly woozy on his feet. All right. At least you can still stand. Apollo immediately comes to, over to Patrick's side. Patrick. We'll be we'll be fine. He doesn't we seem get, fully conscious at the moment. We'll be fine, Apollo, but if we can get to a medical attention, that'd be great. Fucking Lord. Alright. Esther, you don't have I think we're done here. You don't have any problems, right? That is done as we're gonna get. Um about that. Oh. <laughs> I asked if he's okay that. if he has any problems, and then Baxter <laughs> just uh, drops on the ground and goes unconscious. At this I point, know. can we take a small break? Uh, I think we're we almost need... at the end. Yeah, we're close to the end. Is this the parse? Or we consider sending off a, re a, a flare or some sort of signal to get another team out here to help us out. Caster, spooky ghost from the grave. <laughs> Use the rescue bear. <laughs> right. The fucking rescue bear. This is the sound effect I envision happening when Caster uh, collapses. <laughs> okay. Yes, it is exactly what you think it is. I didn't that hear anything. Patrick. Don't be fart with reverb. Don't be fart with reverb. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> it's so I, fitting because Vaporeon. I, 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 damn it. <laughs> I, I knew it before I clicked on the tab. <laughs> Let me just. Okay. Oh, is that the thing? Here. What were you saying? Says the uh, team use their badge. Hold on, we, Parzath, What were you saying? Uh, I was asking how does how bad does Patrick look? Pretty badly bruised. Probably got hit in a couple key areas with the with the rocks. When we return to town, I'm going to the teleport pad and I'm alerting the others. Do that. You take Thank him to the you. clinic. Yeah, I think a lot of us need to stop by there before we even try to make the journey home. Provided we can even get there. Come, I got it. Actually, should I, should I get the medical kit out? Let's the badge. The one we are out of harm's way in here. With Just that, use Paul the... would reach for his badge mm. and hold it up. The team glows and everyone poofs out of the dungeon. After about an hour, a few hours, the team is now at the clinic. I just put Levi back in bed and just keep him there for a bit because <laughs> how does he look Zane mm. he could definitely look better I knew something was wrong with that water. It looked... I don't it was, know. It was unclean water. Glacialis just looks him over, trying to figure out 
why he looks this way. She's got her tail on his tail fin. The uh, diamond at the end of her tail is just lightly flickering blue as she's looking him over. And Zane's also trying to figure out how his injuries are. Never really did get a chance to answer your question in regards to that water, Alivi. But it is as you said. I couldn't really tell it was type changing water, but it wasn't fit for drinking, that's for sure. So much stuff in that so much stuff in that pond you'd think it was a, a waste plant. Like a carpet or something. Or worse. He did sink quite as if it was a sand, sand pit, I think. Look, sand. As, as though it was aerated. Either way, I'm just glad he's not dead. I'm surprised I'm actually saying that. Considering what he said as, as he came out, I'm not sure if that was just stress that he was speaking, but... Wasted out his winces away and like Charmeleon did not look right. That Charmeleon was on drugs. There was three of them that were. All of them. So there was they were low it's then. Three. The first one we entered. Second that was a crazed individual. And then the Charmeleon. All of them infected with well, the Z R D. Infected would imply that they caught something. What else no. can I refer to it as aside from that? They were hyped up on it. No. The fiction would imply the same thing. Rain looks over at Apollo and he's like, You said he was poisoned, right? Poisoned water, yes. It seemed yeah. off. I couldn't identify it before it happened. I'm... How do I put this? There is a very potent poison within him now, but it's circulating his entire body. So he's still... At Ew. the same time, his body doesn't look like it's reacting negatively to the poison. Rather, it looks like it's bonding with it. This won't have any long-lasting effects, will it? Negative given anyway. given his appearance, who's to say? He Aaron. he looks similar to a Vaporeon, but at the same time, not. Come to think of it, Elisada, they were more blue in coloration. Lysida was a normal Vaporeon. Is, rather. Wait. Poisonous water, toxic waste. He became a poison type, didn't he? From the looks of things, it's very possible he did. But given the red tinge of his fur, I think there's something else there. Can't quite place it. Hmm. Glacialis jerks and jumps back. What's wrong? <laughs> oh. Shakes her head and her uh paw stones are flickering uh very rapidly. Is no. some That's not possible. That... That wasn't water. What was it? <laughs> it was laced. She just tries to gather her thoughts. 
you're you're not gonna believe this, but Caster has a part of Eternatus in him. I'm sorry. What? What? Oh dear. When when Team New Dawn destroyed Eternatus, his body broke apart and parts of it scattered across the ruins. That water was laced with Eternatus' power. How many more of those oh. landmines do you think are just sitting around? It's impossible to say. What happened? And it's been 30 years. Who knows what could happen? Well, that location we just went to just became a much bigger priority for the guilds now. You think, do you think New Dawn are aware of this? For some reason I doubt it. it. I don't even know. Well, we can always find out. Hey, Apollo. I think your dad should know about this anyway. I was going to be speaking to him about this anyways. Caster. He's your brother. You should stay with Yeah. Him. If need be, I'll go and do it myself. I'd rather, given the rest of us right now, Luvi, I think you would be the best one to go get him. Thank you, Alvi. If you're going to do it. He nods and just walks out. If he really has Eternatus' power inside him or a part of Eternatus, whatever it is, then he's going to need a lot more care than I expected. So... Not only did he become a different typing altogether, but now he's effectively partially a legendary. And one that I never want to see again. Fun. So, what happens now? I'm just gonna gather these two, and Eloi can return back to the uh, clinic. Uh, Some to delirious to really figure out what happens next. <laughs> oh boy. Glissalish is seems very distracted as she's trying to think of things, but. What she found out is well beyond what she could have expected. <sighs> you can take control, uh, Artemis. They're in here. I go with my one little together. I'm pausing for a moment because I'm having to run through three different characters dialogue in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Take your time. My brain is loading. <laughs> Not loading. Please wait. Take your time. Party.exe. Uh, uh, Artie is going to Russian. Apollo, I, your your friend just came and told us that Caster is a etern Eternatus. Something happened at the ruins. It, none of it made sense. I 
It's all sorts of fucked up, but this is him right here. I... I can't believe I've... I... I don't know what I was supposed to do, what I could have done differently. Artie starts to say something, but he just can't find the words, and Moria steps in. Some things you can't prevent, you can't prepare for. I can't save my friend, who can I save? I don't know about you, Paolo, but I think we would have all been a lot worse off if you didn't do what you did. So frankly, you saved more than you know. None of us could have prepared for that. What we were done with this 30 years ago. Why is it still haunting us now? Master's gonna finally start to come to. He's he's blinking and looking around, bleary eyed, looks at Apollo, and immediately shoves him back and proceeds to throw up on the floor. Right where he was standing. Yep. Oh dear. Hey, it missed. <laughs> it's, it's, he misses the fucking floor. Incredible. <laughs> uh, it's foul and rancid and starts to like, eat away at the wood. Oh my God. His mouth is in pain. Good gods. Is everything all right over there? Lane no. kneels down, pulling out a uh, small vial and putting it in the uh, stuff that came from Caster. He looks over it. The hell is this? He shakes his head and caps the vial, looking at Caster and tries to inspect him more. And is like, Caster, can you hear me? Where? Who? Ugh. You're in the Cast Town Clinic. Molina has been doing her best to try and take care of you, but we. Couldn't figure out what happened until Glacialis saw what there was in you. Everything feels sluggish. <sighs> like I'm trying to walk through a mire or swamp. Master. Please tell me. You're not too far gone. He's gonna just sort of shake his head and just rub his rub his face against his paws. But I'll just a gr just. Uh, uh. <sighs> I'm sorry. I re all I remember. I was kicked by the Charmeleon. I sank into the water. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't. I couldn't swim out. I couldn't break free. Like it was just sucking me under, pulling me under. And there was nothing I could do. I think I started drowning, and then I wasn't. It's all a blur from there. 
The next thing I remember is fuzzy, hazy, angry, confused. Looking down on the city, on the bell tower, but it's it as it was fall as it was crumbling, as it was crashing down into ruins. And now this. I saw that too. You were seeing that from the view of a Travis. Tester, you have a part of Eternatus in you now. You, this, this can't be right. This isn't how any of this was supposed to happen. I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, let me do one thing with it. He tries and fails to keep his composure. I... No, this... I... I'm supposed to... I... I'm going to do great. I'm going to do great things. I'm I'm going to show everyone and show the world that he he sort of keeps on stammering and stuttering and works himself into a panic attack and starts to right. pass out again. Vane takes a, a grip of uh, Aster's forepaw. Aster, look at me. Okay. Okay. Keep your eyes on me. Okay, he's, he's going to stare intently at the Zor. Uh, you roll focus. Uh, sure. Let's roll again. Oh my god, I rolled lower. <laughs> so, as Vane is staring into his eyes, he can feel a gradual sense of calm. Caster's gonna just sort of take a few slow, deep breaths and just let himself sink back against the pillow. Faster. It matters little what got into you. As long as you can get over it and try and work with what you have, you can still do great things. Don't let this disturb you. That's a lot easier said than, than done. <laughs> as one who manifested as a curse, I can say you could be a lot worse. I would take some time to rest. Think things over, but don't think too hard. He's just gonna nod and... He's just gonna nod and just rest back. 
and just pull the, the blanket over his head. Maybe if he falls back asleep, he'll wake up and this bad dream will be over. I'm so sorry. I hope that... I hope the battle of Eternity's was gone. We're gonna make this right. We're gonna make sure this never happens again. Asker just kind of lets out a sort of nods beneath the blanket and already kind of turns Loria. We're going to need to scour Cassia all over again. If there's even a chance that this can happen to someone else, that more pieces of Eternatus are left lying around waiting to corrupt someone. We need to get to, well, we need to get them first. If. And how did... Go on. And how did those bandits, zealots, whatever, whoever they might be, how did they know what was there before we did? Who's to really say? They knew and... We don't even know anything about them now. What happened to them, how they came back? We know that Florellan's dead, but they couldn't have possibly gotten another leader. What matters is the fact that they brought back ZRD. Yeah. <sighs> Damn it. Now I have I multiple bet. priorities. He uh, looks over at uh, Levi. If I may... <laughs> if I may talk for a moment. If I could hazard a guess as to what they were doing there. The zealots. Maybe... From their faith... They were given a clue. Which means there's a chance that wherever you go to find this stuff they're not going to be too far behind but we find the zealots and we find the missing pieces exactly and preferably we do that in the reverse order how do we even know where to look Well, a piece of his, of Eternatus couldn't have been thrown too far from where he was originally destroyed. I would so take. We, we would oh. need to. We would need to gather. We need to get every last guildmaster out there to spare the teams that they can. To just start searching this whole area for pieces that might be lying around, and once we find them, or we find evidence of them. We need to start locking them down and getting those pieces somewhere where they're not going to fall into the wrong hands. Help. Just pitch them into hellfire if we have to. Well, that's one idea, but... I would suggest one place to start looking would be anywhere that Eternatus was prominent. Take time to speak with... Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea, I dare say. Take time to speak with Desolute again. Listen, we need to see where exactly that late Malamar ended up going. I have a feeling wherever they were, Eternatus, or at least things that could summon him, things that, things that could summon him wouldn't be too far behind. I'd imagine, however, that would include more remnants of Cassia, the location of the final confrontation, maybe even Humbletown. 
Oh god, humble town. Someone needs to warn Cleo. Levi, there's also one other thing I just thought of. What would that be? The area we were in was completely covered in ash. That could be a sign. And secondly, with the resurfacing of ZRD, I think that be begs the question, was that Malamar actually killed? Could he have faked no. his death? No way. You don't... F you can... I would say, given how Kua and Reven told it, Artemis, actually, you were there. Is there any way he could have survived that? Survived? No. Not, not after being quite literally blown into a million tiny pieces. He didn't survive that. There's no way but he could have. Someone could be following in his footsteps. trying to start this shit over all again. Alright, uh, eight times. But, maybe it's the delirium talking, and maybe I'm being of my own mind, but what I do know is when we were out there, we suddenly have the blood of three different Pokemon on our hands because people decided to be stupid and take the drug. <sighs> if they took the drug, then what happened to them is on their own hands. You did what you need to do. Nothing more. You accept the risks, you know what's going to happen, you know what could happen. That's just how it is. Team Nudon had to do it multiple times. It wasn't any easier, but if you let it beat you up, then things aren't ever going to get any better. Oh no, trust me. I'm not letting this slow me down. It's just annoyance that people will be so willing to be so thoughtless. But taking it for power is just not the right way to take it. Taking it at all isn't the right way to take it. They should have been destroyed 30 years ago. Yeah, well, someone figured out another formula. And we're going to wish. need to figure out how to get rid of it. Yeah. I wish they had whatever. I wish they had the, some of that stuff on them. I tried checking the bodies, but not a. Wherever they got it from, it was long gone. And we are no closer to figuring anything of this out. Everything with Eternatus, the Zealots apparently still being around. These Mr. Dungeons forming left and right. We have too many priorities. Know. They picked a perfect time. Capitalizing on chaos. But... Uh, out of the... Mm. How's he looking? Still knocked out, but... I just feel powerless and right now I don't know what to do. There was nothing either of us could do. I didn't... There was nothing we could have done to prepare for that. That was just... Bad positioning. Bad timing and... That thing capitalized on it. How bad did the injuries look? Well, 
I'm just glad he's. I'll put it like this. I'm glad he's sleeping, and he's not awake to feel it all. Feel it all. I feel like he should at least know what happened either way, but we'll tell him when he wakes up. I'll try my best to try and, you know, care for him. Yeah. You yeah. think we can ask another rescue team for a reviver seed, get him awake? Mm -hmm. And just walks over to a uh, Adrak. You know I'm a medic. Yes, but you seemed much more focused on Caster. I didn't want to pull you away. At the time being, I cannot do anything more than with Caster. He's going to have to rest for now. Right. Yeah. He just pulls out a uh, reviver seed and puts it on a uh, padrock. There's a bit of a grunt as he opens his eyes. Oh, you with us? Uh, yeah. Good. You took, you took quite the hit on the way out. Why? Yeah, quite a few uh, injuries there. Melina did her best to attend to them, but you're gonna, you're all gonna need to take some time to heal up. I didn't think that. Ball of spikes can move so fast. Hmm. That makes two of us, Padrock. That makes two of us. Whatever the individual did, I'm not sure it's any worse. I, I'm not sure it's any better than what happened to Caster. No. Oh. So that wasn't a hallucination. No. No. And we found out something worse. Oh, good. What is it? Well, he was type changed for one, which that's not the issue. He has a mm -hmm. shard of Eternatus inside of him now. You. See, he looks from Aluvi to Caster back, and then just is staring intently at Caster, clearly trying to rack his brains. There's no sugar is coating it, it. Out of character, is it worth rolling for anything or not? Uh, I mean, you could roll a cult to. A cult or general education and to know anything about Eternatus. But like, would there be a, like anything that would be able to be added by doing the role? Probably not. And yeah, then. Oh, God. I'm not going to ask how. It was in the water. The water I told you to step away from. Mm -hmm. There's stuff in the water that it. turned the frogs gay. <laughs> Not the timing for that, DM. Not the timing for that. Oh no, it's perfectly <laughs> time for it. <laughs> so, Artemis. Um, Artie, are you there? Yes. Okay. It's like from Padrock, so it's like... It's not Padrock, from Levi. Sorry. It's like, so... Artemis. Mm -hmm. From the sound of it... Looks like your retirement's over. At least... Until we get to the bottom of this. 
and then some. Yep. I'm sure Reuven and Ku will be glad to see you, though. Oh, boy. No one can truly rest, can they? And no rest for the wicked. <laughs> I'm sure Glacey Ellis knows that very well. Wicked. Well, is that a that'll be you for robotting? Uh, yep. Yep. Is it still doing it? It's Not right gone now. For now. Okay. She, she said, "I wouldn't attribute Glacy to being wicked." It's a fear of speech. Oh no! I'm really, you haven't known her long enough. Hmm. <laughs> All still fair. <laughs> Either way. So. Um. Who's going to tell Rain that we're going to be taking the day off tomorrow? I'll do it. I'm likely you are all going to need rest. I'm surprisingly fine, despite everything I took. As soon as Taster is able to get back up, we'll be returning to uh, to New Treasure Town, and he will be going to Annex Clinic. There, we can watch him closely, and I'm pretty sure Artemis and Moria will want to come. Yeah, I'm pretty sure me and Patrick are going to be in bed for a while. There's not a dent in my head, is there? It feels like there's one. No, that would probably be the concussion. Hmm. You, no, you, got a, you got a hell of a contusion. I'm not going to poke it, but like right there, like right, like just below the base of your uh, ear. Oh, fun. I already figured out where my stuff is. Guess that explains why it hurts when my ears move. Uh huh. I can try and treat it a little sooner, but that'll take time. Mm. Well, most likely you will be taking at least a few days off to recover. <clears throat> that would be for the best. So we will wait here until Caster can at least stand on his feet. And then we'll help him do the teleport pad. It's a good plan. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't been yelled at for standing up as long as I've been. Oh well. I'll do the yelling for you. Sit back down. Yes, mother. <laughs> he says he just casually leans against the bed and just stays there. He doesn't quite grin at that. As many questions as I'd love to ask, I'm going to take that advice because my head's starting to spin. I'm going to do a... Yeah. That. Like, Levi's, like, trying to speak, but ultimately he's just going to just crawl back into the bed and lay down and very rapidly pass out. <laughs> Melina just uh, walks between them and is like, I'll make sure to treat you all as best I can. But you should stay here for the time being. And Artemis and Moria You'll watch over him, right? As best we can. Okay. Zane and I will tend to the others. Keep an eye on him. Let me know if anything else happens. Paulo, you get a certain look from uh, Aluvi. 
It looks like guilt. You there, Stray? Yeah, I'm here. Paul is, uh, he's yeah. just watching over Caster. Sort of like, it's sort of like that uh, expression that a dog gives you if you're ever like sick in bed and they know you're in pain and they just want to help. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. Caster's got a quick point there. Um, uh, time check. So, with that, yep. Um, I think we're about at the point that we can stop and. Uh, downtime will happen in Castia Town. Uh, we'll get to that uh, later on. But with that, we are about finished. And roll the outro music. And let's see. So, uh, before we continue, I have some things to show the stream, and if the players want to look at the stream, I can bring that up. So, first, we have a couple changes. Hey, 20. Also, it hasn't transitioned to the, uh, other, nope, that was just behind. Never mind. And let's bring this up a few link just a couple little changes at OBS where are you uh, paste this here and then paste uh, this right here So, we have some new faces for the players. I am become fish. <laughs> no, 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 no. You am become fish. I have become bipedal Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> so, we can start heading to the uh, pictures that we got made. Oh. So, first one is from uh let's see <laughs> ninja blade you owe me 60 years you owe me oh, 60 years that meme happened so fast i was like you were kidding <laughs> achievement unlocked Hadrock and mila <laughs> and then the best achievements. uh the next one is not model work but it is sprites that were customized by none other, none other than Fleros. Hmm? It's teeny tiny, sadly. But there you go. <laughs> ah, the face picture is for Alibi. E. And I've been using them. good art. I've been using <laughs> them like crazy. <laughs> I'm sure they'll appreciate that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, that is all the uh, pictures and players. What'd you think? Going uh, to Artemis? Uh, I think it went pretty well. <laughs> you finally evolved. I did it. <laughs> I have super cancer now. <laughs> super cancer. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> also, uh... Hello, 20 sides uh, to every mystery, every story. Welcome to the uh, stream. And, uh, Bryce, what you think? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, a part of me wants to write the journal now. Another part of me is wondering <laughs> if Levi can even write the journal right now. Don't worry. It's just like, I am in so much pain right now. <laughs> I'm sure you'll wake up every so often and be like, okay, too much pain, must write something, go back to sleep when feeling better. <laughs> I could just, oh, okay, okay, you give me an idea for how to write the next journal. You're welcome. Anyway. <laughs> uh, hello, road killer. Hello, albinosaurus Jones. And hello, shift. 
yes, the session is over. But please come. <laughs> we'll be back on in the next two weeks. Yep. The uh, Tuesday after Mother's Day, we won't have a session. I'll be with my mom, and other people will probably be doing things. But two weeks from now, we will be back. Aunt, gotta go to sleep. Some of us got work in the morning. <laughs> um, but otherwise, no. I enjoyed the hell out of the session. Like, it was <laughs> good startup. I'm glad I finally got the, the new art to get shown, and that was kind of spooky, like the entire <laughs> area. But good map design, and congratulations, Caster. <laughs> And yes, Fra, I'm glad Discord cooperated too. I had a, a fear right. earlier. I had a fear yeah. earlier, I mean, but... I'd say we made up for it. Fra was oh, like, yeah. roll a d20 for Discord's voice quality, and I rolled a 3, I'm like, well, oh, no. shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all I'm going to say on the matter. So, Harseth, what do you think? Oh, boy, where do I even start? <laughs> it's central. That's where I'll start. Crit Central. <laughs> so many crits. That freaking four crits by Apollo. Good I, it was God. like, I... That was, was like, amazing. I, I was trying so hard to not lose my mind on, on that. Like, <laughs> the chances of, of that happening were so astronomically low. No, they were <laughs> really high, actually. I mean, just... The three twenties though, in a row. Yeah, oh, yeah. That is literally yeah. the one in eight one in eight thousand chance, which yeah. eight thousand got that in three seventeen during the Everlove session in FBA. I mean, mm -hmm. it wasn't it wasn't even just us that were critting. I mean, <laughs> everyone was critting. Also, yeah, the Sand Slash also got this mega damage where he got three tens along with a nine. <laughs> he near, rolled near max damage on top of the fact that he did a D6. <laughs> that was unfortunate is what that was. <laughs> At least everyone survived. As Speedrunner said, not dead. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, just... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I everyone kind of expected so there was something wrong with that water. I couldn't figure out what, <laughs> but at the same time, as soon as I realized like Castro was getting punted into it, I was just like, "Oh no!" Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I thought that Castro was getting punted into Alluvian Padra. No water. <laughs> like, oh god! The water he warned everybody to stay away from. <laughs> so, as a side note, I actually rolled up the. Uh, all the characters that were going to be in the uh, ruins and wanted to give one of them a uh, push move to push caster into the water that did I not did. happen so i just wound up going you know what fuck it i'm gonna give charmeleon this bullshit ability and so go with fair. that <laughs> fair <laughs> so, i mean it made sense because zrd of berserk and so, straight aura, what do you think? It's already been said, but it bears repeating. Those four <laughs> consecutive crits and one fucking attack. <laughs> yep, I'm going mean, to click like, that later. I know I was kind of rubbing it in her face in the chat earlier, but uh, <laughs> Sansy. You have been dethroned. <laughs> Just accept it. No one is going to top that. <laughs> Until she uses a fate breaker that crits everybody in the room. We already know what her fate breaker is. <laughs> and it cannot do that. It's Angie. I mean, I'm just sitting here like, oh, baby, a oh, baby, a trip. What? Apollo <laughs> 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 went Super Saiyan. Yeah, I also want to apologize ahead of time that I'm sorry if I interrupted anybody during the session. I know I did it a couple of times and I was like, eh. I mean, last session was a little bit bad with that, but this time we actually went pretty smoothly. And, that our, and we were oh, Artemis actually got his words in. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. And it was important that he got it too, because... This was Artemis' session. Yes, uh -huh. it was. You gotta do the thing. <laughs> 
Although, I, I will also add on, I'm humored that Artemis doesn't remember what he said. <laughs> well, not hard, but Caster doesn't remember what he said. It's like, good. That, that's <laughs> actually a key thing. I was like, oh, I, want, I wanted to type in, like, out of, like, in character where he would just open his mouth like he wants to say something, but he's just like, no, there's no mm. way you should tell him that because he's That's... already feeling enough. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Like, I could say uh, many things that would just ruin this entire moment, and I'm like, <laughs> nah. Nah. Something up, nah. wicked this way comes. So, 8,000, what do you think of this session? I thought it was pretty cool. I was not expecting this particular twist in the slightest. Uh, I'm not completely convinced that's how crits work, but that 1 in 8,000 triple 20 rolls was pretty impressive. You rolled a 24 right after it, which was natural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, there is... I feel like there is a lot of good story and roleplay and then a mix of dungeon oh, yeah. this time. Def I'm definitely like definitely like, ha happy with getting to see more of more of Caster's character. Get him getting to have a, quite a bit of the spotlight with this. Oh, don't worry. We'll be able to see a lot more in the future. Boy. But that is to be seen. I will also say this. I am glad that we finally got to fight, because holy shit, I was getting tired of all the peaceful transgressions. Yeah. But at the same time, everybody gangster till the sand slash comes in with magnitude <laughs> fucking thirteen. Yeah. yeah. That that magnitude just went nah. You're taking out half your team, and you're gonna like it. That magnitude mm. was a doozy. I was not expecting to get. I was not expecting that. Roll. The worst part was that he rolled the maximum minus one, and it was a ground type <laughs> move. Mm -hmm. On two <laughs> Pokemon that. that were super effective to it. So I'm like, I'm sitting here like, like with Leaf, I'm just like on the ground, knocked out for a moment. It's like, did I just <laughs> die? I was, going, I was, I was scared that that hit me too. I was like, I was just out of range. <laughs> Which is also why it's just like. Uh, Levi just like getting up. I can just imagine like his hair is a fucking mess. <laughs> like injuries all over. Just like no talk, me Angie. <laughs> so there's a reason I had Padrock just up uh, asleep. <laughs> no. So, in terms of the dungeon, while this wasn't really a standard dungeon, I feel like things went pretty well with this and. I'm going to be working on future dungeons to make them challenging, but not too challenging. And obviously we won't be fighting a whole bunch of drugged up fillets all the time either. Yeah, this was kind of a special moment. For but that. It made sense. as a fun fact, every one of those fillets was level 25, except for the um, Sceptile, who was level 35, and the Charmeleon, who was level 32. And the entire party was level 22. Huh. So, good job surviving. Yeah. This, that reminds me of the uh, dungeon crawl I put the From the Ashes team through on Mount Horn, where <laughs> everything was like leveled 7 over the party. So, please don't do that again. I'm going to go ahead and hop off it's late. All right. Yeah, yeah I'll be yeah. pretty yeah. soon behind you. Good night. Night, Artie. I also, I also need to jump out, too. Yeah. I feel Let's like. I feel Let's like go ahead and wrap really, it up. Yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Arzaf, what are you saying? I said I feel like I made use of my defensives uh, a lot better this time around and actually managed to do my role as a tank. Great. <laughs> so, yeah. um, Before we go, yeah, I, that did remind me, I think this dungeon design worked quite a bit better. I, I know PMD does have like the classic portals and room. Yeah, but I'm not completely sure how that translates as well to like a tabletop setting. Fair. Although for the most part, I do to an extent randomly make the uh, dungeons, and they are actually distortions of 
time and space and whatnot, so they are going to be a bit unnatural looking. Mm -hmm. But we'll get more into that uh, later on, and the next session will be in two weeks. So yep. we are going to raid a certain Primarina who actually just got raided by someone else with a party of 13, so let's uh, add Double nine down. more people to that. And Double down. Oh, and this is Outer Wilds. This yep. is like a game that's best gone to blind. <laughs> so you might not want to spoil yourself because yeah. this game is like a treasure of exploration <laughs> games and figuring stuff out. Yep. So, have fun with Mako, and I hope to see you guys in two weeks, and later. Take care. Have at her. <laughs>